attention, much, don't she? Before any of the rest of it shakes out, I think. Well, I do want to fight that boss from last time real quick. Before anything else shakes out. See what happens. But of course we have some of these first. Should be good. Okay. <clears throat> this is going to involve me leveling up Candace too, actually, which is going to be interesting. Let's see what happens. Come on. Not intent to go like that, but we'll be fine. And where are you? Get you over here and then... nice. And that's simple. Okay. And down here we have oh, wailing monolith. Okay. Hmm. So, oh, Let's see that vaporize. How else? Do we want to get there, and that's. It's gonna be interesting to see how small the size of the canopy settlement is, like that. Okay. This would be an okay ish place to do a bit of mining. Okay. Thank you. Put all up. And take these guys. Hello. Oh, okay. Well, it's not raining anymore. It's good, I suppose. And Switch out. One, two, three. Right. And. Thank you. Oh, goodness. And two. Three. One, two. Three. That's all. Right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And I suppose we put you down. And you down. Another transmission. Cool. And just like that. Okay. Cool. Simple enough. And then. Some tribal warrior fights and a musician in that one. Huh. I think it would, might be good to pick up some materials. I need for Kinich's Earthshaker. Most likely. Hmm. I will put some thought into that. Thank you. Over here. Some of this. Okay, so they're over here in this little recess. Makes some sense. Feed all of them, okay. Oh, luckily, they're all here immediately. Cool. Oh, just like this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, right, one, two, three, and bite, there we go, nice. Hmm. What do I want to do? No, I did not want to eat that real quick. But we'll go over here and first would probably actually be the Wyob. <clears throat> Would be nice if it's restored. Nine cell points like any other teleport point here does. But honestly even make a good deal of sense. Oh alright. That I think I might have seen a music disc on that table. Okay. Profits of pop. No getting through to Paka for you, this musician doesn't understand my musical ideals at all. What happened? What are the ideals you speak of? Hmm, you're a traveler, greetings called Mili Nui, I'm a musician. If you've been to Soshi Kawadal Records, you'll see my records in the pop music section. They contain all I understand of pop itself. Just that Paka doesn't understand me at all, and so my music resembles kitty music more than it is pop. No matter what I say, what's my records placed in the children's section? And yes, children do like my songs, and parents do buy them as gifts for their kids, but in truth, children are the keenest listeners. There's a lot of them in the tribe anyhow, so my records are so popular amongst the kids, I should have a pop in the pop sanction. Makes sense, you can see of children as pop. Right, mm hmm, I knew Pac was just being as usual near itself, but no more. Once I'm done writing this new song, felt no choice to how impressed he is. Not that I trust to taste the music anymore, though. 
Can we travel or how melody? I know it would call stuff music, uh Green instrument, it's fun to sing or hum. It's music what you versatile as they come, not in the slightest. So in that case, I'm sure I'll understand my philosophy of music, so I'm like, it was exactly who I need if I'm to create this only jam. Don't worry, I'll have the most ample reward ready. It'll be well with your while. All right then. So use your intuition to tell me what should I do first to create an excellent piece of music. From customers gathering sound samples. Sounds, oh, do you mean that we could sample the sounds of nature and use them directly in the songs? Hmm, that does sound like a good idea, very good indeed. Sandy, you were a sharp shovel. Come on, let's get going. Wait, you aren't bringing anything with you, of course not. Are you expecting me to drag a gramophone around out there? Don't worry, we're just going to see what sorts of sounds we can use. A duck flapping its wings for instruments, or the splash made its gut hole source since the water. The rumbling footsteps of a tethosaurus walking. Unless you've selected out targets, I'll make the preparations to take those sound samples, but that's all for later. It's for the here and now, let's head out. Time's a wasting. Hmm. Gather materials. Over here. That means... If you're right this the spot, we'll get the nature all around us and bask in its perfection. Come, let us walk about. Surely there'll be some audio for us to sample. Look at those birds that's in their cries. My oh my, if those wouldn't make excellent material for my next work. Still, things could get pretty one note. If we only recorded a few of them, if we could find a whole flock and record the sound of the collective calls. And go on, that's Kahola source just up ahead. You hear how it scratches the stone with its claws. Kahola source with sensitive sword, so let's not get too close. Get some professionals from our tribe to gather what I need afterwards. If anyone can pull this off, it'd be them. Oh, warriors testing themselves against one another. Good, good. The sense of battle real level indeed. Here we oh, we have to fight them off now, probably. Oh, what are you skulking about for? You're here for a fight. We're just gathering materials, gathering. Well, I'll show you gathering. Help traveler stop it. Yep, there we go. Advise the angry tribes people to leave. Okay. Mm. I don't really need to try to get the Kachina bonus anyway. We'll just go like this and keep on surfing. Here we are. Easy enough. Okay. So, if you, you're quite the dab head yourself, aren't traveler, you seem good at persuading more agitated types. Wasn't even my full power, thought it went okay, I could tell. Hello, how are you doing? In every possible aspect is quite obvious. Well, that was quite the adventure, but either way, I've selected plenty of sounds to sample. After just a bit of prep work, I'll be able to officially start recording the audio. Mm -hmm. We should start with the sounds of battle. Wait, no, that's not a good place to begin. We should open it up with something more normal. Okay. So I think I'm gonna go fight a couple of those local legends, including that one boss from before real quick. Given that if I don't do it now, I might forget. Also, there is something about that area that I would like to show you. That I did not show off because I wasn't aware of how to locate it. And then the answer was quite literally right above my head. Okay, I'm gonna heal up real quick. Also, I settled on a team to use for that fight. You're going to like what it is. This is the team I'm going to use for that boss fight. Do we need to give him back Widsith, though? Okay. So... Yeah, he... He's probably the easiest character to use there, except maybe Ganyu for... Freezing the constructs and sending them back. Except for... Frankly, his damage output is more suited for this fight than Ganyu's, or at least his method of fighting. I don't know, maybe. I guess you could try Emily. But I'm running this melt. But, also, if you take a quick look, well, in a second, start glowing eventually, but I think it's that one over there that's glowing right now. Actually, just check. But I'm not anywhere on the map, is the thing, even though it says Toyok Springs. But that one's going at the bottom. I think that's the one. When you beat one of them, the Oblis starts going more and more for every achievement you can get. But what do you think you'll see when I look up right now? You're going to see something very interesting when I look up. What do you think it is? Give me a quick guess. Before I do it. <laughs> No points for a wrong guess. Okay, so you've seen it already. Yeah. 
right over there. Because I had heard that there was one in the Night Kingdom. But... Alright. Big thing is, is that that obelisk over there, the little light at the bottom, it lit up at the end of... There was a little cutscene when I accidentally beat it and it lit up. Well, there you go. Congratulations. Big thing is... There are more obelisks right now than I presume. We'll get lit up if you do all the trials from this patch. Presumably to get them all lit up, there'll have to be... No? Not at all. <laughs> I think it might be that one over there, maybe. The other thing is, is... This, these obelisks are supposed to apparently light up a little more. But I think it's when you claim the achievement. So I'll test it out real quick. Well, about... There's gotta be a nail somewhere in here. I do find it interesting that we have no idea where the Fontaine nail is yet. Though through process of elimination, it's gotta be Celeste. I mean, it's gotta be Mount Asus. It's through process of elimination. Okay... I just want to see if the outside has any changes. It's weird that we don't even have Mount Aces to begin with. Okay, I want to check outside real quick, but... If we beat it another time and get the other achievements... Well, two more times, because there are... Three achievements in total, and the next one is going to be... Defeating it without any of my characters getting downed, which is not going to be that bad. I also accidentally got this because I thought it would instantly proc if I'd done it, so I didn't think I'd satisfy the conditions, and then I killed the guy on my own time. Showed up, but fear without characters getting down should not be that bad. We should be fine here. Okay. Alright. Gotta break the shield. When the pillar comes out, you just gotta hide. Okay. Thank you. Freeze that. Okay, once it does a beam attack. And... One more should do it. Hopefully. Maybe. You got a beam or you gonna... Okay, we got another. And there we go. It's down. Let's see a little bit of damage is dealt, but it seems to boost itself, which is actually kind of annoying to me. Alright. And, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Dodge out of the way of that. And, come on, come on. Just use this now. Okay, cool. And, okay. At least that damage wasn't too crazy. Okay, and, keep on punching. Oh, I thought I'd be able to get out of the way of that. Whatever. Come on. And,. Dodge. Okay. Yep, and we got most of its health down. Not all of it, but there's only so much I could hope for. So we just gotta make sure... Oh, and the balloons are actually helping a little. Oh, that's a surprise to me. But of course the big thing is just freezing these and punching them into him. Well, into it. Though apparently this thing may be a she. Yeah, but that dealt more damage, actually, which is interesting. Okay. Should be good here. And... Yep. Thank you. And without anyone getting down. And that might be another cut... Yep, that's another cutscene. Now it's gonna go from no glow to a little bit of glow. To a little bit of glow to this golden... Aura. Oh, and now this has a little swirl around it, too. And yet, that one in the distance is the one connected to this specific enemy. I want to see what this looks like from outside. And then the final achievement, which is just going to be about breaking that shield when it tries to regenerate it. Among other things, I should heal myself up a bit, probably. Without any characters being downed, and now... Yeah, exactly. During the course of completing a single challenge in Shimali's Shade, absorbs Hydrofoil Constructs to break her elemental shield by launching frozen Hydrofoil Constructs. This is definitely among the cooler things that the game has done. Okay. You can see off in the distance that one glowing, and there are... One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven? But there were only... I believe... Maximum of seven. Maybe only six. I'm not sure about all of them. I think it's... I think it's seven of them that are... In here... What do you mean by that? Okay, well, be able to keep our healing buff up instantly for a little bit of bonus damage, even if we ourselves a bit. Bunch of mediocre sweet madams. Okay, cool. Let's get this party started. Just break the shield again. It. It's interesting that you can't get all the achievements at once. But it's probably necessary because of the way the cutscenes work. It's probably a big part of why it's that way. And interesting. Okay. I wonder what difference this might make. I okay. Hit and... Oh. I'm not expect to take that hit. I'm not sure I took that hit. But I wonder what change might be made. Well, it's not... A triangle or obelisk. It's just that crystal. Honestly, if anything, it's more like a Zelda Force gem. Okay, and... Like that, and... I... Alright. This... Punch. Thank you. Thank you. Dodge. Cool. And... Dodge. Mm. Legitimately makes me wish I had DSC too. Thanks. Dodge out of the way of that. Bear. And there we go. Well, it's a, it's a shape shading thing, mostly. And mm, healing, 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 and let's actually punch now. Cool. Let's just see how much more we need. And now this is going rather well then. Don't think we can. Exactly, if we kill too fast. Oh my goodness, I killed it too fast. <laughs> that? Okay then. We didn't manage to break the shield because we killed it too fast. <sighs> too cracked. Yeah. Probably actually... I should try to get into low health so again I can get... Quick boots, because what would be really cool would be trying to kill it with the final shield break, which is actually what happened to me last night, and the reason things did not work. Yeah, so I'll go back in here. Well, the reason I got a kill on it accidentally. Let's go back in and get the final one in, and... It'd be nice if that guy lost aggro on me. Come on, go away. Go away. There we go. Okay. Let's heal up. Cool. Eat more sun. Guess we could have the scented meatballs or the tofu. We're gonna feed. We're gonna feed him the tofu. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, actually, we could get this going now. Get a bonus. That froze you. Yep, and that will actually break the shield down a little faster, presumably. Just a tiny bit faster. Because we're also breaking the shield. Oh, the Bloom Core counted as an NPC on my side for the sake of breaking that down, causing it to actually explode. Weird. Well, I did not mean to do that. I was trying to do a hold mode. Whatever. Thanks, and. Blast. Come on. Hit, and. It's gone now. It's actually not gone. No, now it's gone. Okay, and... Just like that. And... Hit. Hit. Punch. Okay. Cool. And... Keep on punching. Good attack, and... Mm, some problems here, but whatever. 
And oh goodness. Thanks. Just like that. And push back in. Dodge. Make sure you're in the right spot. And dodge. Oh well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this will punch again. Cool. Cool. And just like this. Cool. Have that one more time. Let's try to make sure we don't kill it before the shield comes up. Come on. This should be saved. Yep, there we go. And I think this means should be able to get a kill from the shield break. Okay. Punch. So it gradually restore its shield health. And if it don't break it fast enough, it'll actually get the shield back. So let's do it like this. And... That's death. Final achievement. Let's see what this looks like now. The answer is... Okay. Now it just goes more. Okay. But, it's got a full coat, basically. Interesting. Hmm. What I wonder is... How far over can I go? Okay, I can't touch that obelisk. It really is just a display piece, but it's the one, and that blue coating makes me wonder if the other ones might have a slightly different color, because this one was very, very hydro. Hmm. Well, okay. So we got that done, at least. But I think... Let me see. Let's set, given the big one in the middle... Okay, okay, right, right, it's Cusijo, Balashko, the Tri-Stars, and Sappho are all in world, which means that six of them in total, that's six of those obelisks, so the coming patch should have five more, presumably, unless things change. What does make me curious is how there's that one in the middle, and I can't help but think that Though, to be fair, one of the world quests apparently has some Night Kingdom stuff in it. Once we light these all up, there's got to be some really, really crazy boss at the end of all of this. You know, is the reward for getting every single achievement from all the other ones. For truly proving yourself as a warrior, I guess. But also, we got Balachko over there. I hope so, too. It would excite me to no end. But, real quickly, I'm gonna fight Bolochka one more time. Nuvi Fury team. So that I can, you know, show what the sort of condition for that achievement is. Well, it. This is an action RPG. If the, if the combat isn't good, you know, what's the point? Okay. Thanks, and oh, that did not hit her. Whatever. Come on. Oh, what? You... Well, that's one heck of a poise break. Come on. Please. Come on, come on. What? Go away. What? Okay. Come on. Well, I... I like the one where they said that Nuvia was a fish. Because frankly, calling Furina a fish is kind of difficult and weird to me. She's, she's not really a fish. Nuvia is the fish. It's kind of the point. Okay. Cause one more time. I, ooh. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, that was frightening. That had better not kill me. Well, that's vaporizing now. Come on. Alright, we're gonna get some healing up in here. Thank you, and where is... that hit? I think that hit, yeah, that hit. Okay. Come on, come on, and where, where are you? Thank you, and let's roll the right element. Okay. Keep going, and now we try this. We try to break as many of them as possible before. 
Okay. We're stopping him. And we broke all of them, which is interesting. That's basically what you have to do with that achievement. The final achievement, which is defeat at least three of his copies before he unleashes his super, basically. Okay, well, uh, we don't have as much energy here as I might like, but I uh, whatever. Come on, come on. And we can try that again, I guess. And keep going for a few more hits. Just straight out of the way. And, well, alright. Thanks. Should be good here. The music is just so good. That's the thing for me. And, well, I'm not even sure that hit. Come on, that... Yep, that definitely did not hit. So that one's the real body. The one that throws fire is the real body. Come on. It's very chaotic of a fight. Come on, and... Bless you. Hope that we do. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And that was what got me the achievement last night. But it's just... I'm not sure I could ever use that many of those knives anyway. They're not exactly incredibly important material. Yeah, it... that was fun. That said, I think... The Ancestral Temple over here was... I want to finish that quest too. Again, before I maybe forget about it. Especially since I think it should maybe give us the opportunity to do another of those fights? Maybe. Go back with this team. Okay. Kachina. And lock this now. Also, Legba is not necessarily evil. In Voodoo, he kind of is. Uh, here we can have the key for, for open the door back, but I'm watching it do, do anything unnecessary. But in the original context, the original African tradition that Voodoo drew from, he was more an intermediary between the spirit world and the living world. Let's head deeper in, watch your step. Not necessarily evil, of course your own safety is utterly irrelevant. What's important is that I'd rather you not damage the obsidian statue. Oh, why do you have to emphasize that? Hmm. This is the... Yep, the first damage to a tablet. Damage to a tablet. The inscription on it has been eroded by the world's passage of time. That you can still manage to vaguely make out some what the remaining text says. Offer to the Lord of the Crossroads. Offer to the Guardian in the Land of Night. The Obsidian Mirror is bathed in twilight. Obsidian Mirrors are one of the weapon upgrade items, but were also used for divination by Aztecs specifically. Just see. Yeah, Papa Legba. And Iwa or Loa in West African. Yeah. Uh, Loa or Loa in West African Voodoo, which is a traditional religion that became Voodoo in its American diaspora. Haiti, the elocutioner, spiritual crossroads, gives or denies permission to speak with the spirits of Guinea and believe to speak all human languages. Both at the beginning of every ceremony, associated with Dahomey, associated with dogs. So that, the guy with us might be the Lord of the Crossroads then. So that was one of the associations of the real world like boss, so to speak. De deity awaiting the decaying night's dreams. The envoy who accepts us who will show us the ancient dream. Oh, but the envoy, is it, that's a term used for the sort of angels of Celestia then. Question is, what's going to be down here? Just want to make sure we don't miss anything on the way down. Doesn't look like there really is anything on the way down, but still. Alright, to the night. What is the night's find a way to venture deeper into the ruins? Hmm. Abandoned temple sanctuary of offerings. And that goes all the way down here, which, among other things, is apparently... No, no. The new boss is going to be over that way. Over here. It's just down into... Toyok Spring is more like, which is interesting. You know, I don't have any Tepet with Yunkasaurs around here. So, you know, do they want me to have... Careful, it's been a long time since I came down here. It's supposed to become a den of monsters now. Kinich. Kinich would be able to boil these things up. Okay, well, get over here. Come on. 
And it's like that. I thought that would hit. Oh god. Hmm. Well. I'm surprised that that fire is not actually blowing that flame down in hot. Okay. You know that? Damage was pitiful, but it's not as if damage is what I'm running here for. Okay, investigate. Ooh, connection. Hmm. This is yeah, the Abandoned Temple Sanctuary of Offerings. Oh, but there's paint buckets down here already. That's interesting. Look at that mechanism over there of memory serves we're meant to light up the lights in this place. Huh. Well, I'm not too sure about the details. Why don't we try pulling that lever over there first? Somehow I don't necessarily trust this man. Well, according to what's been passed down from our tribe, to enter the altar we need to line up the lights in this place. I cannot be too sure, but perhaps we must align the height of the lamps controlled by the mechanisms. Hmm. Ooh, okay. So we're going to need to drop that water level down. It... You know, and I guess this is kind of part of why. It's good that diving isn't just an everywhere thing now, that... It's... Would prevent them from using... Stuff as... Water is an obstacle in that kind of way. Hmm. We can't actually get through here. Hmm. Come on. We are going to... Uh, okay. It's a bit tricky. Changing direction like that. And... Is that supposed to be a trash artifact? No, I guess it was just the Mora. Hmm. But, I'm curious. Really would be nice to have Kini Chu, though. I have not. And I'm not sure I believe that. In part because it would make it a lot less portable and make it a lot more unwieldy. And being simple and convenient is... A lot of the strength of the switch, so to speak. Oh, line up the lights. Oh, we have to... Wait until the lamps are lined up with each other. That's cool. It would be nice. But it... Very impressive. Okay, so that's what we had to do. Something somewhat similar in economy. It hasn't been unlocked. Perhaps there are other lights. Okay. Guess it's... That maybe? Yeah, okay. Pull this lever, unlock the mechanism. Uh, okay. So presumably, whichever lever we interact with first, you will talk about it. So we just gotta wait till it lights up. That's simple enough. Okay. Fair enough then. Let's see what's up top. Okay, common chest up here. And then. Hmm. I had a weird and funny dream while I was napping today. It was basically... And when I say weird, I mean it was weird. It was... It was I don't even know... There was some sort of... Treasure hunting, maritime treasure hunt. Where... This annoying gal I knew back in college was involved. And for whatever reason, I mean, it, it had nothing to do with that. It was really more about the interpersonal conflict. Okay, so there's one over here. Remarkable chess. Tecumacon treasures and, well, goodbye. Goodbye, Tepet Wasaurus. I mean, Yumkasaurus. Seems like a bad way to have gone. But, for some reason, I was wearing my glasses, which... I don't usually do, but it turned out that the glasses that I was wearing were not mine, but a spare pair that she had lost and didn't particularly need, but she demanded them back and acted like it was some 
profound indignity, and I was just sort of, well, you know, I'm sorry, I'll give it back eventually, but I'll need these. And then she just kept yapping until I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just be blind for the sake of peace. And I basically said anything to shut you up. And then she was basically like, simps, get him. And it was like that one episode of Spongebob where the one, the murderer breaks out of prison and becomes Spongebob's bodyguard to try to kill him. And just punches him and tries to destroy him. And it just doesn't work because he's literally a sponge. And it was just these two dudes just constantly just trying to beat me up. And I could not feel a thing. It looks like all the mechanisms have been unlocked. So we can lower the water well now, presumably. Okay. Grab over there. But Legba is not here right now. You're gonna lock us in or something? That would not surprise me. Okay. Hmm. Well, either way, nothing to do but keep going. Operate. Yeah, but it goes down a good deal. Yeah, exactly. Excellent, let's keep going. That's not a common theme in my dreams. What is a common theme in my dreams is being able to fly like Kirby by sort of tucking in my arms and legs and just sort of flapping my arms. Though I've been informed that that's basically how Uraraka does it in BNHA anyway, and I'm not sure how that makes me feel. There was also one time where I had a dream that I could... I probably said this already, where I could basically Mario Kart drift while running with my feet, and the sparks would fly out of my feet. Yes? Is that even a question at this point? It... If I could have the physical shape of Kirby, physical perfection, perfection, perfection. Well, it... You're one to talk. Okay, so what's this tablet then? I'm gonna be the fourth? Yep, fourth. Damaged in tablet. The inscription on it has been eroded by, eroded by the royal ice passage of time. You can still much to vaguely make out some of the remaining text says. I hope. Thrice were all the barbarians who worship the evil dragon sacked, seizing relaxation ravine and twisted ivy expanse. These three regions uncounted ancient dragon idols destroyed. Prisoners of war all. She priests asked the Lord of the Crossroads sprinkle the essence of sacrifice onto the soil, and each of the head elders of the three districts of each of the tribes. Three. Priests of all tribes just recruit large numbers of craftsmen to expand the temples and forts, spreading their, spreading their blessings to the savage lands once ruled by dragons. And that... I think that's part of why I think they've actually done a very good job portraying Mesoamerican and a lot of tribal cultures here. It's it's a bit like those the Stellas in Samaru where, you know, these old kings would brag about, you know, enslaving the entire people of a conquered enemy and then, you know, die to an angry son or something like like that. That you know, to, to avoid the noble savage trope, you have to reckon with both the fact that the cultures were actually highly sophisticated and that the cultures, like any other culture, had the capacity for incredible and shocking violence. Yarn. For those where the altar is, a tribal legend is to be believed. It must be guided by the wild, and body the old deceased guardians, and may communicate with the living. The obsidian statue in your hand is what the answers of your tribe. You come with a word of night. Let the wild be mad that we took the obsidian statue away. It should be alright. Reasonably reasonable. Okay, let's just see if that obsidian... Obsidian... Crude obsidian statue, distinct of contours. Not one communicate with the night king. It looks a bit like the black knife from... Elden Ring, actually. But what I wonder is... Would I be able to get something if I glided up using this updraft? Is it just a way to sort of get back up if you fell down here? Wait. Let me see. Yeah, that's just a way to get back up top. 
I... I'd like that to be true. But... I mean, there, there are its shortcomings. But it's very clear that... The people involved tried as best as they can to make something that was interesting and portray the related cultures in a sympathetic light. The ancient altar does it not look happy to see us defeat the will of the Wyob. If the station of the will of the Wyob can't communicate, that's just how things are. Okay. And, okay. Nice. All right, and, oh, okay. One, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. It's gonna shield up. Well, whatever. Yep. Couldn't do it fast enough. Burning this down is legitimately rather tough. Okay. Thank you. And two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. Mm. It's all about the, uh, well, to be fair, the Night Soul damage here is, unless we miss somehow, I'm not expecting that. Okay. Thank you. Send that down and dodge. Decent enough. Two, three, right. Try to stun. Mm. Oh, I'm burning. Thank you. One, two, three. Go for it. And, mm. Okay. Put this down. Put this here. Put it. This is the Dendro Temple, so it makes sense to be Dendro Wyobs. Come on. Ooh, one, two. Right. One, two, three. Right. Aha! We got this going. We're just gonna put this down then. I think we will. Go for the hit, and... Nice! The missile killed it. The will of the wild made manifest, and you defeat it. You are mightier than I imagined. This tribe spoke would hit retreat in reverence as soon as the light eyes upon it, for no one knows the reason why such manifestations appear. That's a full your swift. If you were fortunate, they may respond to you, but mostly they come to solve one problem or another. So even you don't understand the wives' intention. It's probably trial. Er. As I said before, the wives amass the will of departed guardians. They are great yet chaotic and abstruse by comparison, just like their realm in the Night Kingdom. It's the dendro particle since we killed it. It's going to disappear eventually. Legend has it that in the days after the dragon with the blazing wings, and that would be Zeocolatl, I believe, awoke from within its volcano. Much of humanity could barely be get, eke out survival from between its great things, caused in a great banner-like span of its wings. And in the meantime, the obsidian influence only grew and grew. In that most perilous of times, they say, some tribes people saw in a trance the obsidian branches that remained even in the deepest night. And ever since then, more and more people of skill and talent would sense the Night Kingdom out there, beyond mundane sight, and they resisted the abyss with totems, with the ley lines, and with the power of the elements. This was the ancient altar where our tribal ancestors would use obsidian to communicate with the Night Kingdom. The Wab also gradually took shape during that time. Totems and consciousness is created by the congregation of the tribes living and dead. So that's how it is. So that was just a part of the Wyob then. It's but a mere embodiment of a single thread of their will. They say that the Wyob, the great spirit, possesses no true... Sh possess no true solid shape or form. It might be hard to explain, but uh, that entity will surely reappear should he provoke the Wyob. Let's just focus on putting the statue back on the altar, then. Place the obsidian statue back on the altar. Right now, it's time to return this to its rightful owner. Yeah, to the knight, what is the knight's? To Caesar, what is Caesar's, I guess. We'll get this, but we need another one, I believe, in order to actually unlock another trial. Can't go through there. Especially since this is presumably underground and underwater. Let's make our offering. Cutscene. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh, and we're right by. Well, we enter the same part of the Night Kingdom after each trial, if we beat it or if we quit out. So we can actually see 
The one we fully lit up right over there. Weren't we in the canned ruins just now? Where is this? It's the Night Kingdom. Projection of an obsidian tablet. Come, come over here. Idle medium return. Uh, and this is sort of, I presume, the conceptual spiritual version of the shattered obsidian piece we just saw in the real world. Gentle voice rips in as if from far away, like whispers carried on the wind. A cold consciousness constantly calls out to you through the obsidian statue in your hand. Turn, return. Traveler. Dot, dot, dot. And... Is it gonna merge itself back, or...? Small fragment on top of the larger chunk. How long has it been since visitors from far have come? This place is too big, too empty. The dark filth enters uninvited, staining even the darkest of dreams. Our nation is invaded once more. The slain are swallowed by the turbulent tides of darkness. Flames that look living dawn and dusk all shall be extinguished. Trust not lightly the so-called vision of the sacred mountain. Reject his promise. Oh, so is it... Celestia, maybe? Maybe. Hmm. Or maybe something to do with the volcano. Alright, vision quest. Talking to Theodorix. My little buddy. You've returned and gave me quite the fright there, vanishing once you got close to the altar. Thought you'd been abducted by the Wyob. Ooh, dot dot dot. Well, we got quite the fright ourselves. That place was super freaky. Freaky? There was even a huge stone tablet that spoke to us. What's wrong, Theodorix? Were you worried? Okay. It's different now, so we can go back and see that there. Roo, maru. Yeah, see what I told you. Your friends have returned. No? So a huge stone tablet. You say you told Wig about what you saw. Sigh, to defeat a manifestation of the Wyatt's will. And from what you said, it sounds like he even entered the Night Kingdom. Seems there are no ordinary outlanders to think that I would to see one who might return from the Night Kingdom. My life has been worth it after all. Uh -huh. All right, now that our little issue has been resolved, let's return. Let's find a way to return the seal back to how it was. A little issue, didn't we, you know, do uh, that to a manifestation of the will of your tribe's wild, but it was probably a trial. Yeah, it's no biggie. They gather energy from the ley lines over time. You didn't fret on their account. Well, is it really okay for a tribe's person like you to be that cavalier? See, that's the term I used, about your own object of worship. It is fortunate, yes, for you, where a stricter adherent punishment would surely await you. Uh, yeah, no thanks. You little one, never dig up anything from around here again. Rah. Uh-huh, either way, let us make haste before any ancestors decide to protest our actions. Shattered Night Jane, no taking without permission. Okay. Better than being illiterate, a nearly weightless black jade enveloped in chilling flames. If it could be pieced together, so perhaps something extraordinary might happen. Hmm. Can't interact with that again, at least not right now. I go here up there. Okay. So in that case, I think, well, for one, we can go over here and get... Signs of the canopy stuff. Can get quick reward. Oh, expiration too. Nice. We got even more of that. You're quote. You're quoting something. I. I'm pretty sure you're quoting something. I've seen something on that account. You're quoting something, aren't you? Okay. Puff Pox, that's literally just popcorn. Okay. Fair enough. No, it was... You speak English... You speak English because it's the only language you know. I speak English because it's the only language you know. We are not the same. I... I'm pretty sure that's green text. I, I would imagine it's been in multiple places at this point, though. Hmm. For here was a guy talking about the dragon. Dragon guy from before. Or not. So when we first came here during the Archon Quest sequence... The guy who told me about the little buddy dragon being kind of crazy. Like that Spider-Man meme? 
Okay. Hmm. Well, first and foremost, actually, I want to quickly check what might be in that meteorite impact location over there. Saw that before. Pretty sure you can go down inside, so I'm wondering what it's going to be specifically. Wouldn't surprise me if it was another fight, maybe. Either way, can actually probably take this pin off now since I've been here. Okay. Let's see what's inside. Oh, another quest. Fair. Yeah, so, what are you gonna say? Get close over here right now. Hello, little boy. You know, if we're here, I feel like doing the quest. Except... Oh, what is... What is he gonna say if I just grab this right now? Mm. I don't know. Nothing. Among other things... If we're gonna be leveling Candace... May as well try to throw some stuff into her artifacts, too. Come on. Uh, that'll be fair. All she needs is HP. All she needs is HP. And I guess crit to trigger or Favonius. Other than that... Let's see what happens if I switch to Gachina and... Nothing at the moment. Oh, well actually we can break this. And that... Oh? Huh? Excuse me. Oh, there's something in there. Okay, so now it's gone from a geo object to a, it's a normal object, so to speak. Now that we've sort of activated it. My question is just... What is that boy going to say? Because clearly he's going to tell us sort of what to do around here. But if we go and get everything without him... Might have something else to say. Basically, you did all that already, yada yada. Retrieve Star Shard. It's turn Dragon Orco turned a Star Shard. Okay. So we just have them all already. What is he gonna say? So presumably we had to sort of resonate with that stone. And... There we are. Cool. Okay, so I don't imagine there's anything else around here now. We're just gonna say, hello, we got all the things you wanted, or we went down into this hole. That... Looks a bit... Like a moon, maybe? Or just a big piece of obsidian? Kind of looks like a cartoon moon man face or something like that. Okay, come on. So now this Orko kid... The other kid talked to the other kid. Well, amazing guys found all the star shards. I've saved up quite a bit of money from helping Mama Coco. I'll give you every last more if you give the shards to me. Star shards, what are they for? And before that, what the heck is the little kid doing out here all at that, We get special dialogue. For having done the objective first, everyone else calls me Orko, so you might as well too, though it's only a code name. I'm only here to collect the star shards. You got some the big rock down there. Well, to run, it's a star falling from the sky. As long as we can collect the scattered shards and return them to it, we can gain the power that was lost. So I'm begging you, I really do need these star shards. Sounds pretty dubious, but that amazing. Definitely can't give them to you now. Yeah, but this little cancer's a clue, right? Don't give it a try and see what happens. So there's star shards and lost power and whatnot. That sounds like something out of a novel. Never even heard the story of... Koilor and Ukuku. My dad's told me a million times. Told me a million times. I've got a complete memorized. I'd be happy to share it with you. But let's go down there together first. When Orko arrived beside the fallen star... Come on, hurry up, put the fragments back on the star while I wonder what power will awaken. It will even extend to the sky. Mm -hmm. Let's to wish upon a star. Oh, and we got a book from that. That's fun. Turn the scattered star, star fragments. Hey, what are you waiting for? Hurry up. We got to put the scattered fragments back on the star. Wait, so we couldn't do that, I don't think, until we... Maybe I could have done that already, actually. I didn't check this spot. Long star has shown your true power. Wait for the hidden power to awaken before you send the heroes past the trial and request the reward for courage and loyalty. Oh. 
It's gonna be monsters, right? Awaken Nighthead. What does this mean? Traveler, do you feel any unbelievable power? Not really, no. Big Rock hasn't changed a bit. No mysterious glow, not even sudden shaking or just cracking right open. Why did we use the wrong incantations? I have a right to Paimon, though. Still, we occasionally run into situations like this when we're exploring ruins. If you misremember the password or signal, the mechanism just won't respond. Let's see something. Food, food, food. Hmm. Reputation. Event reward. Okay, sad for Mons, not good hunter. It's all food in Nalan. Okay. Okay. Weird, I was told saying that stuff would liberate the hidden power. The person who told me closed their eyes and started moaning in pain sooner if they recited it. Not only that, but afterward he gained a magic eye that could tell the value of gems. So cool, this symptoms sound familiar. Probably being made up. Oh my, I finally found it, you silly little goose. How do you know about here? Your father's been worried sick about you. I told him I'd go back when it's time to eat. Did he have to tell you? Mama Coco, still talking back. You two kids down there, don't you, Terry, either. Who knows what kind of dangers might show up if you dally there. Can Orko back up and explain the situation? So those are just childish fantasies. He was talking about sorry to get involved in his mischief. He's gone quite naughty as nobody really disciplines him. After all, his mother isn't around and his father's eyesight is poor. I try to help out as a neighbor, but I haven't gotten limited energy either. So that's it. Mama knew it. There's no way something like that could be true. Imagine just collecting a few stone fragments and getting mysterious powers. Not being naughty, it's for dad. Don't be so bird brain. It's all because you won't listen to those older and wiser. At least you're safe and sound this time. But did you ever stop to think about what would happen if we got into some real trouble someday? Enough, you just behave now and come back with me. Fine, but first you go, you two. We did agree. Here's the more I promised. If you take it, we wouldn't want him to become someone who... To be someone who isn't true to their word. Well, since you put it that way, we won't say no. Yeah, maybe I'll need your help in the future. We failed this time, but this doesn't mean... That doesn't mean we won't succeed next time, right? Huh? You little munchkin. Come on, Mama Coco. Let's go. My dad's waiting. Thank you both. See you next time. And, well... That was interesting, I suppose... Hmm. Wicked Nighthead, but nothing happened. No taking without permission. Return the Obsidian Idol to the Ancestral Altar of the Signs of the Canopy. Big thing is that with all the tribes, six friends, and overnight story, all the tribes. Given that the tribal icon has the fire in the center, I wonder if. There won't be some extra bonuses. Sort of a secret seventh one. Well, not really secret, just a seventh one. For, I guess, Mavuika herself, or at the stadium, eventually, once you unlock them all. Especially since you don't really get anything from... You don't get any reputation stuff from just doing the Archon quests. Big thing is... Go down here... Don't have a normal night jade. Have a shattered night jade, and that's it. This was the roleplay thing. To be pieced together, but where and how? Hmm. Among other things, I wanna see real quick. What would happen if one down here? Okay, this just sends me up. Okay. Fair enough. You know what? We'll grab this. Why not? Uh, but, then in that case, I guess it's just time to do theater, maybe. Hmm. Yeah. I was gonna do it eventually, so we'll do it now. No keys of echoes claimed, and now that they've added the hard mode, you can get up to two keys per season, which is pretty cool. Visionary mode unlocked, hit in the depths of the Imaginarium, face yet more... Spectacular performance challenges. And of course, we're doing that. <clears throat> it's more Prima Gems anyway. So in that case, Town Level Candace, given that she is one of the characters for this. Alright, let's make this happen. Got a good amount, but I'll need to get a few more for Kinich then. And then of course, she'll win it, but that's a given. 
ですね、バーシールドスピア。やりと盾の物語を聞いたことがあります。ちょっとストーリーオブマイスピリットシールド。やりと盾をぶつけ合うことなんてしませんよ。It Probably just the vision doing things. Okay. Thank you. Another level. Oh, we need more of the crystals. Okay. We will go somewhere we can actually craft things. Why not go to Samaru, actually? Samaru proper. <clears throat> it. I wonder when they're going to add this space down here. Whether it's going to be more leeway or Sumeru. Probably leeway. And also just the entirety of Sumeru's coastline and this space between Nala and Sumeru. You know, just... The fact that this hasn't been added makes me think that something of some importance is going to be there, maybe. You know, even if they wanted a corridor to force, force you to sort of approach from this angle and see the volcano over here, going through this canyon, they could have still added this little chunk of land. I don't know. It's interesting. Okay, well. Have our Alchemy Venture over here to craft the remaining hydro gem since we need. So we'll do that. Make at least nine right now, but how many of the big gemstones do we have? We have none. Okay. So we should make 18 more. Be enough for big chunky gems we need. Okay. This should hopefully be enough to level her the rest of the way. Could be nice to try to level the talents too. But it's not like it's really needed. Not as if it's gonna be all that strong, frankly. Oh, whatever. Does she have a special glider? Give her wings a companionship, but is anything here like better? That doesn't fit all that well. It mm, it's not really the same. She's more of an indigo than a purple, so I guess it's still that. It's not as if I really glide with her ever anyway. Okay. Also Bloodborne emulation is basically completely usable now. Which... Oh well. Everything? Something I'll protect. Okay. So... Just gotta level her the rest of the way. I farmed those fruits last week. On my own time. Didn't have enough at that point, but... Okay, so there we are. Finally, level 90 Candice for whatever reason. From danger. Belief. Yeah, so... It's the rest of that and most of that, too. Okay. So there we are. We can take a couple of these as well. And then, I guess we could. Admonition. Hmm. How many admonition ones do we even have? In the end, it's... Her damage is not going to be winning the prizes either way. It's not what we're here for. I mean, an okay amount, but mm, yeah, it's not what we're here for. Let's do a few quick rolls with the three blue fates I've had right now. Got right now first. Real quick, just to see. I wonder what my pity is at right now. Hmm. Pity right now is at.
40 on normal banner, so this is going to be 43. Okay. Let's make this happen. Can't imagine it'll be much of anything, but we'll live. Okay. Not even a purple. Oh, well. Oh, oh, not like that. Okay. And... Oh, okay, purple. Nice. And that's... Oh, nice! That's what I like to see. That's good stuff. Doesn't send you... It'd be nice if that send you straight to the character instead of... Just to the inventory screen where it doesn't even show up. Okay, and that... That could be helpful, I guess. That's sad, uh, the team normally gets energy back all right. Active character, it would be okay for Arlay, I guess, but it's not as if she really uses her burst. But at least I'd have it more often if I needed it. Fair. Hmm. But the C6 is the only one that really makes a huge difference anyway. So the buff is not really relying on anything else other than skill levels and her HP. Well, alright. Should try to toss some artifact juices into Candace's artifacts then, and then give her Fabulance. Right now her crit's not bad, but... Hmm... He will keep juice in this HP. Uh, it's about five lands for the team's energy as well as her own energy. She can get her burst up reliably because yeah, that's ER. It's not as she has a particularly amazing set anyway. Okay. Give me. Uh, yeah, it's really just all about the main stats here. HP, not bad, not bad. Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh. See how much we have available anyway. Oh, crit rate, good. Because it's all about HP, crit rate, ER, and really nothing else. Good. 27 times 5... I actually would have enough to get them all to 16, then. That's for the sake of it. Well, it... Honestly, I should save them for Keen H. Because this is usable enough for her. It's not amazing, but it is passable. And it's not as if... She's really going to be... Doing much here, anyway. Okay, so, oh, we can get a new fortune, draw season fortune slip, come on cat, and, oh, oh, cutesy looking handwriting, this seems nothing like a fortune slip, oh, Alice, I travel around to that every so often to see if any landscape altering changes have happened in the meantime, rewriting my seven nation travel guide once sufficiently few people remember my name. But I've been feeling tired of late for some reason might be the coming of spring. Monset, I met a girl who looked very much like you when you were little. I walked her with her for a bit out of boredom, as it turned out she just so happened to be returning a book to the library, one of yours in fact. Something like Anders Dote here. So I got in my head to brag a little. Somehow I think that's probably official. I do have sun copies in my possession after all, didn't expect her to say that she didn't like your stories. Thinking that she hadn't understood, I, I explained that the boar, the wolf, and the forest were all symbols, that they were each- Okay, boar princess. That they were each standings, making the story the most deep mystery indeed. You know what she said? I know that, but the world has changed. Ah, I wish you were there at that moment, you'd have it out with her right there and then, and you'd end off by saying, well, who's the author here? You were me. But for some reason, I said nothing at all. She looked askance at me for a few moments before pulling a hanky out and wiping the sweat born from the sweltering spring off my face. She waved, disappeared completely into the crowd, bouncing pigtails and all, so probably not official. I was so furious, you know, why it almost brought me to tears, really, what's a little girl's world on the state of the water world anyway. So I must go see for myself. On that note, I shan't tarry here thinking about you too much. Today is a good day for traveling, after all. Well, that was a surprise. 
random Alice appearance. Okay. Hmm. So then. Opening characters. Pyro, Pyro Hydro and Dandro special guest stars perform this season's show. Let's prep reward preview and now we got scary mode. And that the rewards are very, very good, too. Interesting. And lots of those artifact juices, too. Got a lot more generous with them, which is <clears throat> quite nice. What I do wonder real quick is... I bet Milani... Just the books I get from there, I bet I could actually take her to... 777? <laughs> Let me think. Just need one more philosophy of contention. This is what I got. Contention. Not yet. But probably after the first run, because you actually can't do visionary mode right away. Normal difficulty. Or, no, we can do visionary right away. Okay. Be quite challenging, be properly prepared before starting this, beginning this performance. And Inequitous Baptist is only there in that form. Fun. Battle Hardened. Oh, okay, so that's just Cineus, the local legend from Remuria. Well, from Sea of York, essentially all of Fontaine is part of Remuria. Chronicle Array and its Hydro, Pyro, and Electro, which... Yep, that's Burgeon Comp. I should probably save. Should bring Toma and save him for there. Big thing is, this is literally Burgeon Comp. Glor. Not bring Toma would be silly. Let's see. Short hair. More hair. Even more hair. Probably more hair, but more compressed too. Do this now. Okay, add at least 22 characters to start the show. Add up to 26. Each extra character added. We're just buffs from performance starts, which reached level 70. Okay, so we can do this. This is good and all. The catch. Yeah, should probably stay with the catch. Uh, maybe Fab. I don't know. Right, Milani should get Witsith. Right. Especially since we will be able to manage burning here. Decent enough. Con level one. Thank you, dear. With deathmatch. Yeah, yeah. With no star glitter for you. It's nice they can change things around here, but we'll give you that, I suppose. Well, that isn't meant to be all that amazing. And oh, we can't run Kachina. Too bad, so sad. I... Hmm. Honestly, even if it's gonna suck, I feel obligated to take her, actually. As dumb as it sounds. It would hurt me. It would hurt me. That's actually exactly why I want to do it. That means getting her one more level up, which means I need to fight the Yunkasaurus King. Just a couple more times for Kinich. That's fine. Okay. Yes? When has that ever been in contention? Alright. Thank you. Oh, but that's right. Candace has... a few more... things to say now, presumably. Check those voice lines real quick. For the Ascension. The intro, a newfound strength, help become a better protector. Should grow sturdier, right? Spear sharper, unstoppable force, and movable object. Oh goodness, never put them against each other. Learn how to wield the stream shield, not like one day need them. Use the skill to protect this village. New strength, not again, the present, for, for trials in the future. Capable of venturing ahead of you, fending all dangers ahead of you. Trust me, close your eyes, leave the enemies to me. Okay, cool. Well, that's funny because she is not strong. Sadly. 
Okay. Kachina. Oh, but if it's catch, then... Should go back to... Maybe Favlance, maybe Ballad? Because we could run Vaporize here relatively easily. Who else would want Favlance? I don't know. If we're using her to apply element, Favlance would be good too. Big thing is that if Raiden's here, she needs the catch. Can't do anything other than use the catch. Yeah, that won't help you. Okay. Then, Corin always his black sword. You need... Sack. You've got Sack, okay. So who else comes in? These characters would work well on a team with... Hydro and Pyro. You are always good. But I'll take Toma. 16. Oh, wow. So I guess everyone's coming in. Everyone's coming in. Okay. <laughs> Fine by me, I guess. So everyone who isn't garbage gets to show up. Bennett is always good. But you and me up. Chevros hmm. needs Favlance, you and me need Slingshot. Okay. Yeah, you want good Favlance, but in that case, I suppose. Give Yaya Moonpiercer. That's fine. Shavros is a good enough crit that even with this, it shouldn't be too much of a problem procking Fav. And then Yoimiya. Slingshot is currently on Sethos, but Sethos is not going to be here to... No, no, actually, she's fine with Rust. That's right. Right. You are not showing up here. Yon is always good. It's... All Hytham is also always good. Hutao could work. And it... Maybe gumming? Honestly... I think we'll take Sigwin instead, but this is... Kind of scuffed. We'll be okay. Just, I want to leave. you in here... For... Baju, Toma, Shing Chao, Nahida. I'm going to need that for the Baptist fight. I've got to keep him in reserve. All right. And that's one heck of a lot of characters. I'm taking more characters than I'm leaving. It's Amber, Gaming, Yanfei, Yan, Barbara, Diluc, Hydro Traveler, Tinari, and Mona. Well, Mona. I just don't know how I'd use her here anyway. For Silicachina, we got a Blessing Boost. Nice. A Fantasia Flowers and new Brilliant Blessings. New ones. Okay. But if there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fights. I would need a total of 40 companions worth of vigor. Get six. Ten in total. I wonder how I want to do this. Actually, very strategic. Hmm. Porting cast. Oh, so it automatically selected those somehow. Or wait, did it? Wait. Oh, uh, because I didn't change them out. Okay. That's fine. Forgot about that one. This is decent enough. Okay. Hopefully that'll help someone, I guess. Maybe. Hmm. 
Let's start with six characters, the six opening characters, and we need enough for ten fights. That's forty. So twenty characters in total, so in theory, we only need to select this five or so times. Hmm. Maybe. Blessing's good, but it's not like I really, really need them, and... There's no way that I'm picking Sigwin over Fiorina. I'm sorry. Hey, joins the principal cast. And, let me see. Battle normal, companion random. Random characters. Oh, refunded. And, quite honestly, I think Kazu would be more useful. Eh, maybe. Joins the principal cast. Now it's just blessings. I... Hmm. Burning's good. Meet the requirements for the season, enhancing their effectiveness in combat via elemental reactions. Brilliant blessing events continuously increase your blessing level, further enhance the corresponding elemental reaction buffs. Keep blessing levels. Additional attribute increases depending on blessing level. Basic burning blessing effect. 70% increased power res against burning damage. Which increased from triggering burning reactions, increased by 500%. Not bad. I'll take that. Burning divergence. Sure. Choose. One combustion core dealing dendro damage. That'd be good for Emily. Two diverging paths. Wildfire wave, AoE pyro damage. I... That said, if the purpose is keeping up Pyro to Vaporize, it'd probably be better with Conflagration. I don't know. So every eight seconds, we reset. Huh. This is actually probably better. Okay, an evolution. Basic effects of all brilliant blessings. Huh. Well, that's interesting that they make you choose. Burning Blessing. Huh. Well, let's get this started. I wonder which one. Star Challenge. Usio on attacks have an advantage, but I don't think it really matters. And that. No specific advantage. Either way, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Easily grouped, and Hydra has an advantage. I. This could be something I could use Candace on, basically, just to. Not have to use Candace again, I guess. I don't know. It's the Burning Blessing that we leveled, which means... Maybe it's this one I go with. Sure. Period of time after Thunder will descend. Hmm. I... Hmm. We'll go for it. And that... Brilliant Blessings. Brilliant Blessings will grant several buffs to characters to meet the requirements for the season, enhancing your effectiveness in combat via elemental reactions, selecting select Brilliant Blessing events continuously to increase your Blessing level and further enhance the corresponding elemental reaction buffs. Increase Brilliant Blessings levels to accumulate Blessing levels. Characters will also gain additional attribute increases in the Imaginary and Theater depending on the Blessing level. Okay. Cool. So for this... All of them. It doesn't tell me how many... Huh, huh. Jean-Louis actually would not be amazing here. But we're gonna go with deliberate garbage. Honestly. Sure. Stupid as this team is going to be. Okay. Well, it... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's... She's just kind of weak. It's not my fault. Okay, just a couple. Okay, that's simple. Okay, ends. There we go. Like that ends. Put Yayo down now, now. Thank you. It ends. Thanks. Cool. And just like that, we'll keep it burning up. Thanks. With a burn vape, I guess. And you're next. You're next. Well, oh, I did not intend for that. Interesting. Thanks. And... Mm, not entirely work. Okay. 
Oh, uh, alright. We'll wait. This one is not meant to be a very difficult one. Okay. Well, there we go. Okay. Good stuff. Next, and... Alternate cast member. You know, let's take Corrind. Damn it, she's a bit more splashable, I would say. Oh, they have a sitting down now. Well, that's fun. Free mystery cash. Oh, fun. Selectable, take selectable. Okay. Companion random, burning evolution. More companions, the better. Huh. You know, given how good burning is here, we'll stick with that. Mystery cash for free. Here are more one random. Ten fewer, ten more. Mm, one random now. This just means get them now, but not after. It. You know, I actually like this. It's scary, but I like it. So, 90 seconds. Bunch of Nobushi. Treacherous Thunder. Treacherous Thunder. Treacherous Thunder again. Okay. Huh. But... The big thing with Corinne is that she's not really making use of the reactions, which is why I think actually, given that they buffed all the reactions, even and especially the bad ones, there's not really much of incentive to take the off-element characters unless you just don't have enough of the basic ones. It's interesting. Numa aligned, whatever. See if I care. Hmm. Jean-Luc Candice, oh yeah, oh, I... They aren't doing it for me. I should probably save Kaza a bit. This is decent enough, but... Moani should also probably be saved. We will... Here's our stupid garbage. Back. Thank you, and... Just like that. Can I? Slam. Get that going, and... Well, I should've... Uh... Use some other attacks first, but we'll live. Thanks. Okay. Cool, cool, and well, alright. Give me some of this. Thank you, and. Boom, boom. Thank you. Hit. Shoot, and. Yeah, this is not a serious problem. Thanks. There we go. Cool. Uh, what a reverse grip hold she did was cool. I don't know. Probably Bennett, honestly. Even if Arlequino may actually be a bit more splashable. Okay. You know, maybe I should talk to them. Maybe. Hmm. Burning evolution, but vaporize origin. Basic Vaporize Blessing after triggering Vaporize decrease power and high res by 25%. That's a good one. Free Mystery Cash. One additional. One more character to be added to the lineup. Uh, and fewer, ten more. Near equivalent exchange. Reset one time. Okay. Huh. Vaporize Divergence. Rising Tide. Poising Explosion. I would say the explosion, especially since that would help Milani more. Help her maintain aura more. Yeah, we'll go with that. Three seconds, four seconds. Okay, a blessing level boost and a, just another mystery cache. Guaranteed to be companion random. No more special guest star. Random. Mm hmm. No, that actually. Might be decent, because if you can kind of play it so that you can get all the blessings you need, and then focus on companions, or the other way around. Either way, we should talk to them a little. Hello. Look, time do you need to take a rest? If you're feeling packaged, I brought some fried radish bears and made them before we came here. Try to take life at a sore space. Pace, it's good for your health. Cute. Corvind. 
People often believe in the highly focused and securing victories, and the champion duelist after all. The truth, however, is just the opposite. It is the spirit of that challenger that I value above all else. If someone is willing to face me head on, they have my respect no matter who secures the title of victory in the end. Strength is something that can gain through experience. Courage, however, comes from within. But I thought she was undefeated. <laughs> so that's kind of pointless to say. <laughs> it's never really been questioned. Okay. I will show no mercy to anyone who threaten my companions, so whatever evils dwell within this domain, you need not fear. A spear and my shield are at your command. That is my duty as guardian. Guardian Toste. Okay. Hello. One way, a handful of my more experimental dishes made out of the Warman restaurant menu. In most cases, it's because I think the texture isn't quite right or the flavor needs a lot more work. That doesn't mean I'm about to give up. I know there are tasty dishes out there waiting to be discovered. We'll find them sooner or later. Okay. Said I think. Is this not? Let me see. That painting seems familiar. I don't know. Well, we'll sit back down and do that fight. The only thing we can do is this now. Time limit, and I think. Focus fire, we can make Milani. Have some fun. Okay. Any stage effects? Let's see. No stage effects, right? Milani team. Hmm. Wonder who I could take. We're not going to need Corin much. She doesn't even fit into these comps, so. Saver is a deliberately wasted slot, I guess. This should be fine. Okay. Cool. Just like this. Thank you, and thanks. I, well, actually, just like this, honestly. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, it is going down quickly, quickly. Thanks, and one, two, three. And it's not taking any more damage now, is it? Nope. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Just like this. Oh, well, never mind. I guess. And. Get down. Get that going. And. One, two, three. Fight. One, two, three. Right. And. We're fine here. Cool. Thank you, Milani. Like the pose she does if he stays still after firing the missile. I yeah, we're hiding. Okay. Hmm. Cutting through there. Hmm. Vaporize and burning evolution. High pressure and defense. Defeat opponents, deplete the timer, not less than 35% powerful foes present. I... I'm kind of Bennett, Fiorina, maybe even Kaza team could work. It's going to be interesting there. Prize evolution. All brilliant blessings. Basic facts are enhanced. Sure. Okay. That's complete. More or less. I just want to see real quick. Yeah, because they totally revamped the blessing system. Which is good. Because the previous ones were garbage. But choosing mystery caches, let me just see. Selected at least eight mystery cache events, so we've done four. So that should actually be easy, especially since there are so many free mystery cache options now. We gotta go for the one that gives us more cash. So we can get more cash is. Okay. So... I want to see, actually, what it's going to look like in the final visionary stages, then. It's got to have a new, presumably dark, environment. Hmm. Pressure defense. And... This should be good. Should be. Okay. Let's make this happen. Draw, and I... Oh, well, that... Did work, I suppose. Thank you. 
Keep that out of the way. Oh, talk about high pressure defense. Wow. Okay, and Nex is over there. One, two, three. Mm. Okay, whatever. Huh? There are some problems here, I will say. Okay. Strolling is Hydro there. Mm. Well, that will help too much. It's not necessarily such a bad thing. Thank you, and... Mm. Not quite where I'd like them to be. One, two, three, hit. One, two, three, hit. One, two, hit. Oh, goodness. I... Mm. Thank you, I... You are annoying. Oh, come on. Come on. Thank you. This may not be the right team for this year. Maybe. I probably not. Yeah, Bennett. Circle impact is really, really troublesome for this year, then. I want the stars. I really do. It. Mm, yeah. Need to figure out something else here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's certainly something. To move around. Honestly, we could try some really silly Bennett all height and burning memes, maybe? Maybe. It's hard to say. It's all vaporized that we've got going. Honestly. I might need to use Moani here. Which is sad. But. Oh, well, I guess it had to happen eventually. Hmm. This will use Raiden. Sadly, I don't imagine she will be all that useful here. Well, it, some kind of burn vape, I guess, will maybe help. It's emphasis on maybe. Thank you. One, two, three. Bye. And, well, okay. Come on, come on. And, just like that. And, one, two. Put you down. And there and this. Seems to be working decently, but that is not going to let me vaporize a single thing. That is annoying. Come on, come on, and... Oh, well, never mind. Come on. Get in here. Get in here. And... Emily, I guess. One, two, three. Damage is big, but that's all that's big there. One, two... Hmm. Well, it... We're doing okay. It has its problems. Uh, mm, well, okay. Uh, it, yeah, being so geographically limited is to be in the right spot to make anything work here. Whatever. Come on. Just let me hit you. Okay, well, it... Luckily, this... Actually, somewhat decent Diaverse usage. Okay, one, two, three, and... Oh, well, all right. I'm, what in the... That was really, really bad. So maybe, actually, we actually focus on the defense. This is legitimately a tough puzzle to solve. Big thing is I probably should just try to get more people instead of doing it like this. Focus on getting characters first before getting blessings. But that's life. Okay. Thanks. And just like this, we can put you down at three by one, two, three by that. One, two, and well, okay, never mind. What? No, this is actually okay. I guess. And you know, 
I did not mean to do it like that, but... Mm. Not blunt enough. The main thing is... I could actually manage to get good damage out of her burst if I use the thing, but... I don't know. I think, actually, yeah. Using Dia Burst would be a decent idea here. Because it would also help keep the burning up. Sort of weird overburn team. But, mm -hmm, never mind. Uh, this is very strange and troublesome. It, you know, burning is good here. Or at least it's usable as the buffs, but it's not necessarily usable in the precise way I'd like it to be. Presumably. One, two, three, fight, and oh, well, I. Two, three, fight, one, two, three, fight, and somehow it feels if. Yeah. Gotta be another way to make this work. Maybe. Maybe. Basically, stay in the right spot and try to deactivate more than more than I actually try to kill. That's tough. If I have gotten them to focus on me instead of the monolith, come on up. Oh, stupid. It. Though I don't imagine that's going to happen all that easily. Oh, come on. I... <sighs> huh. That's tough. Especially since Milani needs to be able to reliably hit things for anything to work with her. Okay, and just do it like this maybe. One, two, three. I did not mean to do it like that. I, uh, that's stupid. Yeah, okay. So who, how, and where? It, it's interesting, because it really is a meaningful challenge, but... Come on, I did not think you were going to do things like that. I hate you so much. It's just, how do I make sure... Okay, Milani's just not a good fit for this. Gotta figure out some way to make a Python work, maybe. The power application being the way it is is also very bad. Okay. Cool, I guess. Cool, and... Thanks. Cool. How did that hit that? That was stupid, too. Come on. Come on. Come on. I... Oh, that's stupid. Stupid, stupid. Okay. Okay. Come on. I... Die. Die, die, die. But it... Something wrong with the Raiden's artifacts or something? I cannot tell. I... Uh, you just stay away from this. Big thing is, is unless I really go into just getting characters. Can't afford to do it like this because there's a good chance I just won't have the sauce for it. Okay. Come on. Hit me instead. Thank you. I guess. And cool. But uh, the clicking is incompletely useful here anyway. Whatever. Come on. Come on. Cool. And who is hitting what and where? That's... There's nothing I can really do with like that. Is there? Whatever. Okay. Come on. Come on. Thank you. And... Just like this and like that. We can move over there. Take you out like this. Yeah, we wanted to take that hit. Okay. But it, uh, there's no good way to defend, and it. No good way to make sure they don't hit it. And cannot. One, two. Take that down. Thank you. Cannot. Mm, 
Come on, come on. And select you. Then to take a few more out. And just like that. We oh, please. I just. Why? Why? Okay. Alright. Two. And three. And this. Okay, finally. Thank you, all hyphen. That was tense. I. Shavros or Yeon? Honestly, Yeon. It's gotta be Yeon. Hmm. That took a lot. Hmm. The Flame Paramount. Highest level, two diverging paths. Chain reaction during vaporize, poison paramountcy. Where the origin refined, poison explosion hits an opponent to exceptional explosions. The larger areas will be set off to greater power damage. 50% more vaporized damage to opponents. We'll stick with more vaporized damage, honestly. Okay. Sure. Hydro Companion. That's maxed out. Okay. We... New Viat is can go anywhere though, so select one time, rare event, fifteen Fantasia flowers, companion random. Hmm. Sure, we'll take that. Rare mystery cash. Stores vigor, intermission award, one additional selectable event options. Ooh, I like that. It's forever. I hope. That'll normal, but we don't have any pyro. That's gonna suck. Normal. New Viet could make that work. Who heal have an advantage. Don't have healing really though. Hmm. I. It's gonna be power washing. Okay. So let's do it like this. Just like this. Performance and. Sure, Kaza. To like this, and then like that. Okay. HP boost is real good for Nuviet too. No stage effects. Okay. Huh. Thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, to defeat more opponents is a star effect. Okay, cool. Just like that, and... Cool. Get this going, get this down and- wait, what? Huh? Didn't even think that would hit me. Now that is stupid. Okay. Mm. And just like this. Now we can use this to swirl that hydro. Okay. Thank you. And Furina. Down over here and like that too. Okay, cool. Heal myself up. Primary stage objective mad stage maybe end it early. Well, got the other one too. Speed a few more real quick maybe. Okay, cool. And there we are. Thank you, Power Wash. Okay. Ah. That was easy. Okay. We are away over Hu Town. I hate to say it. No other way to do it though. We can talk to them real quick. Hello. A. Will you join me again? Karuta. This is a fun way to spend leisure time. It helps both relax or can be sharp and focus. The thing is, it is customary for the one to be ordered with confectionery, but I do not know whether it can be brought in here. In that case, we can celebrate the victory at the Sacred Stock some other time. Now we're ready to be humbled. I do like how differently she speaks. How uh, differently the Shogun bot speaks compared to A. The English version does not really have that distinction. This is not the first battle, nor will it be the last the battles go on until the moment you have reached your goal. This is a test of endurance, a quality fun, most admirable in those who possess it. The more than job requires endurance too. Mm -hmm. Yes, quite true, quite true. Oh, he's sleepy. Hello. Hi, thank you for your performance. Do you have any requests? I should do my utmost to fulfill them. Must be in tricks. Please follow me. Wolfie onto the stage. Yeah. We need for that yet, but there are new ones. Interesting. Amber. 
That's a fun pose. That's actually one from the old promotional materials for the game at the start. Cute pose. Let's see him occasionally crackle around that. That's cool. Oh, and with a goblet. Oh, that's fun. I wonder if he has anything new to say if we chat. Okay, nothing new. Okay. Kazuha. Cannot collect our rewards yet. We haven't found the the performance yet. There are many reasons why Samurai might draw their blade, but the principle is always the same to do what they know in their heart is right. Walk up the lost path where powerful foes face at every turn, though I can't sense the lights at its end. Tread onwards with no fear in my heart. Mine is at ease where I tread this path in your company. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, this is woeful. I'm Fontaine's biggest star was the pomp and circumstance when I remind us what's going to do with a short break. That's to replenish one's blood sugar to deliver an ideal performance after all. Hmm. So, got a bit more. Continue our performance. Pen in random is going to be cheaper. Bloom Origin. Two random characters. And Nakachina. Nakachina. Ojama Surine. Romantic Showdown and oh. Shields have an advantage. I. Wonder how I'm going to manage this then. I actually. <sighs> Furina is not going to. Arl a Fury team. Have mercy. Well. Try Newbie Fury one more time, but. Question is who else is going to go on the team? Sub DPS all item just to be silly about it, maybe. Power Wash is definitely going to be a good way to make it work, though. I would presume. Sigma actually usable. Okay, fun. Thanks. And I okay. Thank you. And just like this. Thank you. I oh my goodness, that really bothers me. Okay, mm -hmm. and last one, we need to get out of the way, but without a shield, not sure how much I can manage here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Make sure we actually manage all our hits. Okay. Should be fun, as long as we don't miss any of our shots. Okay, and hit just for fun, and... Cool, cool, cool. And, well, never mind, maybe. The focus about one of them, probably, possibly? I don't know. We miss a number of our hits in a way that is very not good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, if we try that again and didn't mess up the rotation, we could make that work. Lack of a lot of true external buffs. Saving Kaza for this might have been a good idea. Honestly, probably. The big thing is, wind them off. We can. Come on, come on. Okay. And I, this might be a good time to get that down. Okay. Should we hit everyone correctly and do not get shot at too hard? Now this can work if I actually get the hits in. Okay, cool ends. Hit ends. I, okay. Thank you. Another one ends. Just wiggle it, wiggle it, ends. Thank you. I, okay, well, buff's gone, but we did it. Cool. The family team. Also, I'll hide them. Okay. And we'll take Shuffles then. Four more goes at it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rewind point updated. Like a random companion. And yeah, sure, Baiju. Not gotten Toma yet. Two random characters, eight remaining. We'll take Toma. Also want Xing Chao. So who have we not gotten yet normal with? Hmm. I... That's interesting to think about. 
very normal. Pneumo line is an advantage. Mm. Pyro shields, that's not gonna be amazing for what I. Eh. Our way could. No, our way's application is. totally kind of crap. <laughs> Money's app is slow. <laughs> Just heal from Baiju, maybe? Maybe. Let's lock in. And yep, now we've got this weird kind of quasi-abyssal environment. Straight up into this tear in the world. Hmm. Guess yeah, buys you and then just everyone who's hydro. Sure. But Lonnie would be doing normals, frankly. Okay. This is going to be incredibly scoffed about, you know, whatever. And then, we will try to knock you down as best as we can. Thank you, and... No, alright. Actually, her damage is actually just good enough, but this is fine. And two, three, and... Oh, well, we messed that up. Come on, and... Mm, that's a thing, and just like that. Sure, sure, and... Go on. That end, but it... Uh, her, the fact that we actually do have to do some damage with a starter is, honestly, hurting things more than anything else. I... Uh -huh. Well, alright. I guess. Maybe this will be... Enough to knock them down, maybe? I... Mm -hmm. This should hopefully be somewhat decent. I, never mind. I mm, kind of managed, but not really. Mm -hmm. And all right, whatever. Come on, come on. Ah, whatever. Please, please, please. Uh, application is poor, poor. Ah, but the press is its own thing. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Hmm. It's Milani's. Uh, it's on damage. Focus fire one down. Maybe. The second part, but I don't know. Come on. The, the question is whether this is efficient in any real way. Okay, and actually, yeah, this is just for damage. This is actually ideal, probably. Thank you, one, two, well, never mind. Okay, this might be it. No. That down, but also two, three, right, one, two, three, right, one, two, three, right, and for a big, nice, big shot. Thank you, and blast with that, and cool. thank you, you got that back, which means put this down now that we can just be tossing. And, oh goodness, come on. Hmm. Should be. Okay, maybe. Just gotta focus on making sure that we have the shield, the meteor down. Come on, come on, come on. I, mm. Thanks, and go on, go on. Well, never mind. This may be stupid. This is definitely stupid. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Uh, this was definitely not the way to do it. Should have done a normal one. Oh well. Mm. I let's rewind that performance. Got a couple. Mm. Let's say they have that feature. Mm. Okay. Random companions. Oh, they're re-randomizing it. I. Hmm. Yeah, you just go. Ahead. They re-randomized it. Mm. Oh, refunded. 
We'll take you. Shomogats. In that case, honestly, that might be it now. We could really, really crank out the hydro. Yeah, that, that's not bad. Hmm. Just gonna try this then. Save the lineup, but since we don't have Baiju right now, well, <laughs> had to change that around a bit. Okay, well, here we are. Cool. And just like that, we can try this out. Trigger that. Thank you, Yeon. Go on, honestly, we'll just combine you. Okay. Cool. This is the way, I suppose. Two, three. Should have a little bit of shred then. Three. Hit and two, three, and hit, and go for a blast. Yeah, the more application we get, and the faster we have it, the more we can work out. But that was silly for sure. And now we can go over to this side, and... Well, Shin Jada, get his business going. Come on, come on. Oh, goodness. Please, please. Right. Nice, just like that. Thanks. Heal you and. Mm, the way we do this is now going to be. Put that in and. Oh, come on. Hit and. Who is that going to hit? Now we can just keep on blasting with our truly ridiculous pyro application. I mean, hydro application. And there we are. Cool. Nice. Nice. And. Sit with that and. Shinjo, Shinjo, and come on. There we go. Still narrow. Nice. No more Milani then. And we'll take Baiju. Sorry, Lini. To the performance, and now we got you in here. Hello, you on. Safe house, huh? I'm not a fan of using safe house that I haven't personally vetted and get it up, but this is better than nothing. Exploring this domain is one heck of a big job, even I want to get it all done with in one go. It's like now the rules of this place are my stamina would allow it. You should conserve your energy too, don't run yourself ragged, it's not worth it. And here you are, hi. I just can't stop reading some of the different travelogues, and they spell it wrong, and Chronicles of Adventure, and they're all so fascinating. Some of the stuff in here is so blatantly over the top that even I can't help but wonder if it's made up. Oh, she can't tell the difference between fairy tales and nonfiction. It settles it as soon as I get the chance to go see for myself. Seeing is believing, right? It says gullible on the ceiling. Xing Zhao. Hello. Wait. Oh, he was busy reading and couldn't talk. This little book is truly exceptional. The gripping plot is one thing, but the characters, well, they're so well rounded, they really break the mold. Can't thank you enough for inviting this incredible voice for this travel. It makes not a good novel. I'll be sure to get a copy for you. And. Sigwin. I just read the sign in a children's book. Friendship takes sacrifice. Only through sacrifice can friendships be made. I agree, and the same principle applies in other areas of life, too. It definitely applies to healthcare. If you want to get healthy, there are things that you just have to sacrifice. Like money. Okay. Continue your performance. Get some companions. And who do we have right now? We got... Yitoma, then. Take Toma. No Toma yet. Huh. Okay. We need a virgin team for that final fight. Climactic showdown. It's gonna be you. Star Town Gendro characters have an advantage. Hmm. I think Baju Nahira, Yeon, and Arlequino could take this one home. That could be a decent option. Yeah. Actually. Probably Bennett. Especially since her burning is actually pretty darn good now. Deep Sea Dwelling Beast. Okay. And just like that. We go. Oh, I should have. That's right. I needed to do that at the start to start that off. And then I could have also propped burning very quickly, too. That's how you run Arlequino. That's right. 
There we go. Cool. Rock that. Burning. Just like that. We are doing very well for ourselves and dodge. Okay, cool. When are we gonna go stupid mode? Thanks. Two, three, four. One, two, three, and okay, well. No, we just knock you down like this, and you are a bit easier than in your local legend form. Makes sense. And just like that. Thank you, Nahida. Thank you. Then and an oh my, okay. Alright. Fun, I guess. There we are. Now you presumably it's an HP breakpoint since we got past them so fast it just did it twice in a row. There we are. Okay. And Tortaglia, but no, no Toma. Huh. Continue. Yeah, we need to focus on characters anyway. Two random characters and powers refunded and please give me Toma. Okay. What does she have on her? Well, this has to be Toma. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yes. So we'll have that team for the final fight. That's good. Looking for Burgeon specifically. <laughs> Who is in our cast right now, then? The only characters we haven't gotten yet are Yoimi and Kachina, then. Poor Kachina. Well, that's what happens when you suck. So, also, they change things around so that certain... I think some of the boosts... Where the characters with more vigor remaining. I think I'm confusing with similar events, but I saw like Yoan Hutao. This Toma, Baiju, Nihita. Shincho has to be that final team. Just thinking. Marlokino, Bennett, Chevros, and there's no maybe Yeon, I guess. That could work. But who do I run this on? I guess. This is just normal fights. This is a normal fight. There's no gimmick here. Okay, then. And, okay, it looks the same. That's fine. Hmm. You. You, you, you. Okay. Sure. Should work. Bounties? That's bounties you have to defeat. That's interesting. Okay, and okay, alright, and oh, we don't have a lot of healing is the thing. Okay, one, two, three, four. This is, yeah, more than fine. Thanks. One, two, three, four. Thanks. Alright, okay. Cool. Shoot, and new one. This is not any for you on having trouble then. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh, well, we aim for the wrong guy. Huh? Weird. Never mind. I wasn't another one there for it to shoot out, was there? Whatever. Come on. Yeah, just like that, we were there and. Come on. And stage when we end it early. That's fine. Let's do it. Final one is going to be that Toma team. Ah. So I guess we'll take you on me. And not that either of those actually make a difference at this point. Okay. And for the final one, Bloom Origin. Increase the number of Dendro Quartz created by Bloom. That's actually including Virgin and Hyper Bloom. That would be real nice. Okay. Boom Blessing, Boom Divergence. We should have focused on that, maybe. One addition, Dendro Core. Lingering Seed that will assist in combat. We want the Overgrowth. And then, Evolution. Well, we can't get that. Basic Effects, and then a final one, but... That would max out at 20, but we focus on Companions. Okay. So, this is what we gotta do. Unless they had a special effect appearance, but... Hmm. How many mystery caches do I have right now? Oh, we only did six mystery caches. Okay. Yeah. Oh well. 
I can get that other achievement one day eventually. That's not a huge problem. So here we are. Let's do this thing. Actually, switch you around. Okay. And focus on you down as quickly as possible then. And just like that. And you out really nice. It's like, oh, hot, oh, energy, energy drain? Oh, now that's not good. Okay. Cool, cool, and just like that, we... Come on, let me get some of that back. Please, please. Well, you know, it... I guess this is the way, maybe? I suppose. Now you're stuck, stuck. Okay. Cool. Thank you, and just like that, we... And hit. Now we... Keep on burging me. Thanks. I mean, this is okay. Ah, and we stopped you. We stopped you. Good damage. Good damage. And oh goodness. Wow. And there we are. Achievement for doing visionary. A perfect ending to the show. Please, everyone, put your hands together and give them a round of applause. The Dream Theater, performance for summary, okay. Now well, I suppose it's time for TCG stuff. Highest damage dealt, oh, Milani with her ridiculous vape. <clears throat> and... Sold out most opponents defeated. The Power Watcher himself. Got my pretzels. Most damage taken. Indestructible Baijiu. So that would make sense. To well, also because he was on field with the Virgin stuff. That Virgin team at the end was real fun. Who wants the fastest? Well, that because it was the very start when things were stupidly easy. Supporting cast, Fantasia Fault was used. So, might have been a bit harder to lock in the characters I wanted by putting more in, but it also gave me some blessing boosts, which, of course, the lower your level is, the more the value of each one is, because it's diminishing marginal returns. All right, got a platinum. Yeah, 9 minutes and 44 seconds my ass. Act 8? Well, we did a good deal more than that, I think. Okay. Also, we got an achievement for doing Visionary. Wish they had a new scenery for that. The Master Masterpiece. Complete an entire imaginary theory show, the imaginary theater show in Visionary mode. The Star Shine. Complete an entire show in the Imaginary Theater. Having a paint 6 Stella. Having obtained 8 Stella. Having obtained 10 Stella. Nice. So. For here. Domains. One Visage Echoes because we can get another key. Well, that means, honestly. We could try. Win some of those, but get it up. We're gonna- I wanna- I wanna do them in order, but I think we have to skip Kirara, maybe? Or I could wait until the next season- eh, I don't care. Let's claim all these rewards. Very, very nice, and that's... Eight hundred, nice. That's fun. Twenty big artifact uses, ten small artifact uses. Five hundred thousand Mora. I... I like this. But you only get toy medals for up to eight, so this is just more Prima Gems, more juices. More than pearls and gold. That's... 
Yeah, we didn't have enough mystery caches for that. Obtained a total of nine toy medals. But in theory, that was the first time we could have actually gotten that achievement, and therefore, this name card. And the name card came out a couple versions ago, but it wasn't obtainable until this version. Alright. Oh, debut performance gift for Visionary Mode, right. Another crown of mastery. Fun. Cool. So we could get some outfits. Please follow me. Onto the stage. Focus on catching up. Kai with the coin. Cover with the nothing. Yoimiya with the nothing. No one with a die. Okay. Zoomably. Shouldn't be that many more rotations before we can actually catch up if it's. Hmm. Well, they added four this time instead of two last time. I guess they're maybe staggering it. I wonder what determines their release pace. By the way, we could do some of the trail challenges now. There was a vast collection of books here. I went to browse through earlier, found a good number of If you're not presently occupied and want to take a seat, I'll fetch a few of the books. You can see if there are any you like. Osusume, recommendation, basically. A fun book on a busy day can provide much of an escape, even for just for a moment. Toma. <clears throat> Thanks for inviting me here, traveler. If there's nothing to urge, that needs your attention. I'd like to sit and relax for a bit, make some tea, don't mention it, it's nothing real. To see anyone who's my care tag themselves out too much. But that means. Best record act 10 and. 10 stars. Oh, that doesn't say that there, it says it on profile. I guess I could add more. Well, eh. Maybe. Act 10. Fun. I don't care at a hot con level. It's a badge of honor. Bonjour, there is a surprising number of books here. I can't help but wonder if there are any ancient prescriptions or medical texts. Sorry to disappoint, but I already took a look at pretty much all children's books. Is that so? Some fairy tales may sell therapeutic benefits and treat mood related disorders. Nahida? Not sure I brought her in here yet. I'm really curious to know what's at the end of this maze, too. Yes, I know that we go further in, we're bound to meet tougher and tougher monsters and maybe even suffer some setbacks along the way. But after the winds and rain have passed, the snappings in the forest grow a little bigger and a little stronger. When we get to see the blue sky above the treetops, we keep pressing on, right? Oh. So. We can put this in. And Kirara is not happening now, sadly. So I guess. Chi Chi is not artifacted, so I guess it's Niguang and Jean. But with Ningguang, because Deluxe was the first, quote-unquote. That's why I did his first, also because I had the option of doing it first. So we've kind of done 1, 3, and 5, I suppose. And yep, now they've reordered themselves based on what we've unlocked. Check the target and defeat all opponents. Add up all the Pyro Monuments, and that's the only one with two phases. Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's... No one recommends nighttime actors because nobody uses her. This is sad. But you will borrow Navia's artifacts for a short time. But actually, wouldn't Petra be better anyway? If, well, it depends on whether she can actually get crystallizes off and not aware of the shape of the challenge yet, so to speak. So we'll see. Let you borrow Navia's stuff for now. What did she have? Kind of goblet. What set was her geo goblet off of? It was. Huh? Can't find it. That's weird. Did she just not have a goblet or. Going up. No, it was Chalice of the Fawn. I just. I forgot about the hat. I literally forgot about the hat. Okay. You are taking Navia's stuff and. We've leveled you decently. Honestly, it. It got enough prosperity books. 
This is a Ninglong opportunity. I suppose. Yeah, we can't take her much higher, so we'll be stuck at seven, which is fine. But she uses all of these, actually, for better or worse. Okay. A rare Ninglong W. And oh, it's. Well, we'll try this then. More about defending than attacking, and we're not going to really be getting crystal as early. Yeah, okay. Cool. Oh my goodness, that was damage. Okay. Thanks. One, two, three. And it is not incredibly good. Thing here then. Yeah. Need to figure out some other set. Honestly, I think some sort of two beast, two beast gladiators would maybe work then. Maybe. But it. Hmm, this is legitimately strange and tough. Sayonara. Sayonara. It, it's all about basically taking pot shots from behind the jade screen. Okay, cool. Hmm. Yeah. So if we wait long enough, it really is a waiting game, but... Cool. Just gotta make sure you hit the right one. Yeah, it's not timed like Duke's was. Which is an interesting approach we're gonna take anyway. Okay, and oh my goodness, that was ridiculous damage. I not expect that to be as crazy as it was. And, oh wow. Huh. Hmm. Solar Pearl is going to be good, but. You have to kit bash some incredibly stupid set together for this. Hmm. Means, of course, giving Navia back her artifacts first. Yeah, not yours. Actually, that Chalice of the Font might be good, especially since Ningguang had it before. Before I gave it to Navia. Hmm. Okay. Also, Jeans is... Power damage until power is removed, so you gotta use her burst. Hmm. Much to think about. All opponents would be free. You might want to be iridescent for that. Then. Hmm. Decent enough piece. And then. Geo damage and attack. Well. Hmm. Attack geo damage. Really decent petra pieces. That's fine. Does she had a yeah. Give her part of the petra set, basically. Part of her petra set, and then take some more stuff away from Navia. And then that. Hmm, that's a decent ratio. So you see how this works, we're gonna to need to be smart about this. Save that star scatter for And the big group of cultural fighters shows up. But this is something we can take nice and slowly. Just hide behind the jade screen. If, if we have... Oh, it was facing the wrong way because we were too far away. Okay. Alright. Hmm. We'll try this one more time, but... I don't know. Really don't know. Gotta touch that to get the Geo damage bonus. Save that burst when we absolutely need it. Thanks. And you're over there, and... It's like that. Oh my... Like, oh, I was too close to the Leyline Monolith. 
Right? Continually juggle one. Decent way to do things. Or not. We'll see. And mmm, that was kind of stupid. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three. Okay. Now we do it like this. Go through and use our star scatter. Wait, did it? Didn't walk onto a single one of them. That is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Okay. Just hop. Unfortunately, common Ningguang L. The funniest thing about it to me is just the characters who got the trails at first were a bunch of basic five stars. Standard banner five stars, Ningguang, and then Kirara. It choices seemed rather strange. Two, three. I don't know that I have anything against any of those characters, but... Okay. Blast. Blast. Okay, cool. Thank you. And... Oh, well, alright. Not expecting that. And we'll keep on... Trying to stagger you two. And one... Two, three. One, two, three. And... Mm. And that broke it. We need to make sure that I have enough for when get a jade screen up for that fight. Okay. And where are you? Well, that decent enough, I guess. Cool, unless it fails to hit, and in fact it did that time. Mm, I, okay, what? I, I really? Okay. Come on. Maybe I guess I'm supposed to just use it as AoE damage. It does do good damage, but. Let's check out the weapon. Skull and burst damage. Attack damage. Hmm. Yeah, she'd be better with Skyward. She wouldn't be quitting much, but... Well, in that case, actually... You probably wouldn't be better with Skyward. Cause her some crit issues. Well... Oh. Hmm. It's good to even switch that, and then give her Skyward Atlas. This... is rather tough. Oh, the question is, how well are those going to hit? Okay. One, two, three. Hit. One, two, three. Hit. One, two. Thank you. One, two, three. Hit. And we'll go through to get the bonus. One, two, three, hit. One, two, three, hit. And that, that seems to be doing a meaningfully more significant amount of damage, which is surprising no one, honestly. Okay. Thank you. And just like that. Cool. We will blast the other way a little if we can. One, blast, out of the way, one, two, three, shoot, one, two, three, shoot. So basically it's a matter of distracting them, I suppose, and making sure that their aggro is correctly divided, I suppose. One, two, three, shoot, one, two, three, shoot, one, two, three, 
two ends. I guess I could put this there, and yep, that would actually stop them too. Nice. One, two, three. Shoot. Oh, well, if I probably star scatter there. Yeah. That uh, should help, hopefully. Oh, what? Never mind. Uh, okay. It's all about staggering the right people when I hand and have to. Okay. It's one more and you're over here. I come on, come on. Oh no. Okay. Well, it. Look out to store scatter that. Hmm. Definitely cool that the entire point is, is basically measure mastery of a specific character's kit. But I'll be damned. This is tough. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Like this. Frank, I should be making use of the actual damage and area of that. And the particles. Also, just trying to use the stagger to move them around, prevent them from hitting. We can stun them out of an attack sequence, okay, or just otherwise distract them. We are going to be much better off that way. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Not kill yet, so we can wait for that to come back then, maybe? Okay, there we go. Nice. And, like that, we can... Mm, maybe. Uh, never mind. Need to make sure we can hit the right enemies. Oh, goodness. Come on. Hi. Mm. Come on. Come on. So we can get a hit off. Okay. It's definitely going to have to be a matter of bursting that one down with Star Shatter before anything else bad happens. Here we are, hello. Hit and dodge. Hit and stun you down, hopefully. Okay, cool. And the question is, how much can I manage like this? And can I... Mm -mm. Got an aggro enough that I can stop you. Finally. That was tough. Ningguang's Invisage Echo is shaped like gilded ginkgo leaves, noble and elegant. Really all about distracting enemies. Shooting between them for stagger and. Wow. I really had to know her character mechanically. Alright. Get your trail. Which that means other people are taking back their artifacts. Okay. Then. Then go on and switch that back. Okay. That means next is Gene. I'll probably be able to choose things by just tossing enemies around, so. I'll wait. Hmm. Smoldering flames and. Fab Sword would actually be a bit better here, presumably. And Amanoma, maybe. We'll see. Defeat 15 opponents, key supplies, and integrity. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you. And... Thank you. Where am I going to throw you? Oh, huh. Oh, but the damage I'm taking is... Sort of discourages such an approach. Yeah. Hmm. You're supposed to basically swirl the pyro off you and heal yourself. Okay. Hmm. 
she's gonna be constantly on field, then that sword is really the only way. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Cool. And we'll just blast you over there. Thank you. Cool. And like this. Send that back and hit you. Thanks. Well, not all of you really got in the right direction for that then, but let's see, we're still on that and. Hmm. Thanks. Oh, but it's not far away enough. Hmm. Come on. Oh, but that's right. Forgot about her whole trap enemies thing. That's right. Okay. I did not mean to do that, though. Hmm. It's a matter of just... Levitating enemies. Yeah, okay. Then presumably moving them over here, which is the best way to sort of discard them, I suppose. Can I? Cool. Thank you. Alright. And... Just like that, we can do that and then... Blast you, and wait, how am I? What is with that camera angle? Whatever. Come on. And over there, and smash you in. Thank you. One, two. One, two, and one, one, two. Okay. Just like that, and mm, who is. This is weird bad news. It's, you have a time limit due to the burning, but... Hmm. Knocking them up. It's so crucial. Honestly, this feels to me like... An attempt to encourage you to actually use it while with Avonia. Funny as that sounds. You are annoying. Thank you. Let's get you up and throw you over that way then. Cool. It's, oh, we couldn't stop you. Oh, whatever. Okay. Cool. And over there. I, ah, please. What are you doing? Come on. Thank you. Did I- what? Huh? What in the- okay. This actually makes zero sense. Maybe- yeah... Okay. Challenges are legitimately hardcore. Alright. Not all of them can be thrown like that. Okay. There we go, we got both of them. Decent enough, and... Hmm. That's just how far away we can throw them. Thanks, and... Oh my goodness. Thank you. And we're off. Thank you. Yeah, that's gotta be the way. Maybe I. Yep, just throw them out the window. Okay. And that took a while. Maybe that's a good thing. And out the window. Right out the window. Okay. Cool. And over there. To launch you. Okay. And yeah. That's so we got some time to recover from the fall by way of it being kind of wrong. Okay. And throw you out or miss because we aim too high. Okay. Cool. Fair enough. And over there. There we are. Yep. We just, we don't need to aim that high. Alright. Well, here we are. Cool enough. And Review up, launch you up, throw you that direction. Get to charge up again. And damage we're dealing actually killed one of them. 
And there we are. And that's Jean's challenge. Echo, Dandelion Knight, Jean's in Vistage Echo, flutters like dandelions on the wind, swirling around her, accompanying her on her resolute journey. Okay. So in two more seasons, we should be able to get all the ones that came out on launch, but by that time, they've, they're they gonna have more. Still. So we got our rewards. It's good now. Mm -hmm. Right here. We will pick up that equip it on you. And right now, right now, it's a good amount of stuff. That's how many rolls? That's 50. 75. 77, just right there. Huh. In that case, yeah, I suppose it is just TCG now. Huh. Figure some stuff out. Except I don't know how the new character is really supposed to be used yet. Hmm. Got Shun Yun and Navia in here. Oh, but the achievement, right. Second folio, dream through the canvas, complete the Invista Jacko's challenges for three characters. It's five, so. Eh, you know, it's gonna be a, another couple of patch cycles until that's available. Well, the end of sort of the middle of the next one. Mm -mm. I want to. This invitation bites first. So got the heated battle mode and the challenges. But also. Children of Echoes is old quest line too. Getting that other piece of the night jade is going to be interesting as well. Hmm. Well, presumably. For the Night Kingdom things, we have six, we see eleven, and there's a big one in the center. And people have said that probably there are going to be three. Not one expansion chunks, one with Animo and Electro, one with Cryo at the Volcano, and about like just northwest where we are right now, and then another one for the big mountain floating cities, such as Gunnout Hunt in the north, north, real northwest. Presumably we'd get two for each one, and one of them would have... You know, one of the small ones, and then that would just sort of complete the set, and you'd be able to get the final one. So you beat all those, presumably. That actually reminds me a good deal of what Samara did with the sealed ruined machines, but of course this is much more in-depth. Mm -hmm. Well... You don't need to win. Just need to sit through our losses to get the money. Hmm. Fishing is always fast. Hmm. I wonder. Switching. Truth God Wave. I feel like that would make Sean Yun ridiculous. Yeah, I bet. Sean Yun and someone she can swirl with. That's what I'm thinking. But Ocean It is always good too. Multiple effects on Switch. Shinabu could make that work well. 
That's also healing, which is needed as well. All right. I have not used Jean Yun once. Let's see how this works. Yeah, but crowd control and fast switching, which is what Sucrose and Mona are for, won't do much when switching is fast. Well, maybe they won't do Mona because Mona's there. Hmm. Hmm. Could be useful. Weapons aren't going to be much. Or savings, sure. It's like that, especially since that's a summit too. Uh, I could heap a rhythm of the Great Dream, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Just trying to think. Skyladder. Unless Elemental die, and especially since switching is going to be huge. That could be nice. Sanctifying Ring. Let's ring of Sanctification. Huh. I... It's going to be a nice option. I'm always saving, sure. Oh, baby. Fortune and Doom. Yeah, this prevents... Can prevent... Them from getting reactions off of me. Decently enough. This off-field character once per round. Eh. Hmm. Just to play it once per round. Hmm. Forging billets. Not really using weapons here, I wouldn't say. But we'll get our summon started. <laughs> Good way to get things going. It's like, oh, right, but pff, that's such a zone wing, but... Oh, the vaporize on that might be annoying. Maybe. Hmm. We'll take a hit, though. I'm wondering, then. I guess we'll do some tuning. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Cool. The switching, and then we can swirl that. It's gonna be interesting then. Okay. Hmm. But I bet we'll be able to get hit off there then. Yeah, that. There we are. Good. There's only so much they can do to that sh to my Shinobu then. If you switch out. Oh, just a normal. Oh, you're smart. I think they knew it was coming. Hmm. Okay. Star Wicker. That chair for 2 HP. Deals 1 Animo damage. Hmm. That might honestly better be better on Rodea. Maybe. Because that would be good, but it's decent, but it's even more disastrous if... I was able to get a swirl off. Hmm. Skyletter is a fun option, but... <sighs> okay. This is not what I was going for. Star Wicker could help, but... Really is much to think about here. Okay. Woba attack. Switch. Use one of those, since we don't need multiple. And there's a summon for you. Okay. Oh, goodness. I don't like that. <laughs> but, okay. Go ahead. wonder what the purpose of that was specifically. Whatever. Well, okay. I'm gonna switch off to try to prevent a reaction, or, or what? Keep getting frogs. I wish I wasn't getting frogs, honestly. Whatever. Recompense. Hmm. I, you know, we may as well take it. Hmm. Oh, okay. Bad news. So I'll keep that there and. Swap that out. Cool. Stroll that and then put Electro down. Gets a heal on too. And there you are. Cool. Electro on that. Healing is not what I would have liked it to be though, but 
Oh my goodness, and that's a veritable disaster for their team. <laughs> there you go. Good stuff. I figured that something like that might happen eventually, and it did. Just what I like to see. Mm -hmm. And if that did hurt me a bit. Oh, well, all right. Mm -hmm. So whose burst do I want to use? We don't have any summons is the issue. Hmm. Shout to you, I suppose. And... Who can afford to be on field right now? Is the thing. I healing right now. That's a good option. That also... I didn't even think about that, but that was a good idea, too. Maybe. Do a bit of switching around, then. That won't do much for me. A little bit of healing in. Okay. But whose Star Wicker is that going to be? That's the question. Hmm. That's tough. Ductile assistance heals the next character, attach character to HP. You use that, consider a plunging attack. Damage plus one, deal one animo damage. Hmm. I? Who? But they're already ending their rounds. That's the thing. Who should the Star Wicker go on then? Nothing else I can really think about. That's tough. Heals her. Mm. Honestly. We're just going to have to keep you alive and spam the Adeptal Assistance. But I can't switch. I can't proc Sheena moves if it goes like this. That's hard. Tuple assistance on you, maybe? No, you die anyway. Hmm, well, alright. That's fine. Suppose we'll just use... Use that, yeah. Okay. Cool. And that's... The true end of the round, then. Mm -mm. That's tough. Because mm. that's very, very much death. Yeah. All you gotta do is try to force a switch and... It's a very, very dead. Oh, but... Oh, you... <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have done that. I didn't think it'd still trigger the switch. Okay. Okay, that's what I like to see. In that case, 2, 1, mm, not much of a difference, but she doesn't have a way to deal more damage to me, that's right. Oh, that's dirty. Well, just in case, heal up a little bit more, but... Oh, that was a terrible idea. Oh, I fumbled. I fumbled that so hard. I didn't think that would take a... I may be stupid. Yeah, that was very stupid. Yeah, I could have survived. I would have probably won that. Hmm. Oh, wow. Avocado toast? Hmm. Literally always good. Got tenacity too. Hmm. Healing it. Op app. Just good for something slow, but green bean and avocado toast. I feel like they might have changed. 
the NPCs. I might have been fighting NPCs. But it came down to the wire, and then I died. That hurt me a little. Spiritually. It's just because that was the first time I ever engaged with the technique effect. Ever. So it was just... I go in and I think, okay, I can heal myself. And then Sucrose kills me because she had fragments. If I had just gone for that one attack, it would have killed Sucrose and she couldn't do anything. And then I could have healed. And probably managed to kill Mona. Even if she put up her duplicate. I... That was such a painful fumble. That is actually very, very useful there. I... All these seem okay. Excuse me, okay to me. Hmm, <laughs> played my kindred and place it in. I might have to do a bit of tuning, maybe. Maybe. And it's my turn. Nice. Oh, right. That's free. That, that's good. But... Hmm. Hard to say how I want to do this. Definitely want to put sack on her. Maybe like this. Maybe. So I got on you. With that. Shield down. That's just a way to funnel stuff to the king. Okay. Alright. Alright then. Epic crab carapace moment, but it's just you got two anima. What are you even trying to do? I mean, I guess they could try swirling Tartaglia's hits, but they're not doing that. <laughs> but it's Scar profile picture versus Scar profile picture right now. Truly a battle for the ages. But it's probably going to be all I've been staying on here, because if there's anyone here who can afford to just take hits, it's her. Okay. And that's the end of my round. And that Liban is immediately just taking it. Okay. It's all about juicing up the Crab King shield. So the Crab and Opep... Well, the Guardian of Opep's Oasis. I, I refuse to call her anything but Opep. Because I refuse to admit that they just never gave us an actual Opep fight. Its damage is fuel. That won't do much for me, honestly. Paimon! Paimon being in here is... Rather quite nice. Okay. Well, we are going to shield point our way to victory. Oops. Okay. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Go ahead. Okay. And I suppose this could honestly be a matter of spamming this. Yeah, we'll just... <laughs> you stay here, I'll stay here. I am literally only trying to make my crab stronger. Mm -mm, this character for 2 HP. Okay. Cool. Oh, but that... Interesting. Mm -mm. How do I want to do this? Probably like this, then. See how they consume and what they consume and how. I'm drunk in this, and that actually can be real nice for the crab. It's just a matter of seeing who I'm willing to have on field at this time. Okay, cool. Alright! Piercing damage in the next active character. Right. It! Honest to goodness? I don't think they'll be able to resist taking the bait. Because I don't want them being able to get constant swirls off. And if they kill Diona, which I'm more than willing to accept, she's done her job of beefing up the crab. Yeah, we're fine. 
They're just going to accept that kill, not knowing that I was deliberately letting Diona take that hit and get sacked. Let's go ahead, take the kill. You're not going to be able to resist it. You know you want to. Yep, see? It's that easy. Could not, you could not resist. I managed to keep some elements off of me, which is nice. You're doing some funny battle and detonations on... Funny Tartaglia over there. Hmm. Well, it... Y'all have to. I... But there aren't really any card draw effects right now, which is why... I'm gonna focus on this. Just in case Abab dies, we need to make sure the crab can survive. So, here we are. That's good. In two armored crab carapace stacks, we are just going to sit here. You can try to shoot me. I don't care. I'm doing fine for myself. I think they've come to understand the gravity of the situation now. <laughs> Come to understand that. Yep, and it still just did not break the shield at all. I mean, keep on going. What are you going to do? You can try to swirl. But I'm gonna battle line detonate and get rid of most of you. It's two piercing damage, all standby characters. You don't have any healing. Farzan and Tertagal are dead at the end of this round, no matter what you do. Uh, it's so fun playing decks with monster cards. I mean, just go ahead. Try something, will you? It doesn't matter. Okay. And this means we take all that. Not that. For that can't even be played right now. That does not do much for me, and... And that's the end of you. It's the end of two of your guards. It's... They've accepted defeat. <laughs> I know it's over. Still I cling. I don't know where else I can go. Oh. That's a bit of healing on me, and... I, I think they've come to realize... <laughs> that I was... Very, very willing to let Diona die. Okay. Looking my kindred could be nice, but I... Let's see what happens. Proliferated organism. Oasis nourishment. Hmm. I mean, it's really just a matter of... What are you going to try to do? I'm just going to knock you down. I'm going to slowly but surely armor myself while attacking you and just slowly push you down to hell. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to do. I'm going to delight in your suffering. Some damage, that's fine. I can take it. That's some stacks for me. Go ahead. I invite you. Said I. Hmm. Situation might be a little worse than I expected. Maybe. I. Getting burning off would be nice. The question is just can she actually kill? I don't think she can kill. Should you go for a faint, but... Uh, oh, she's probably gonna take a vaporize off on me. Okay. Huh. But we got... More damage. Huh. Heals plus one damage. Much to think about. I... At least this nourishment is another thing, too. One of those would be good. 
Hmm, I... It's hard to make a decision here. Let's do on the Calx. Two damage versus two damage and burning it. Depends on who's faster. I think that if I proc burning, so I'll be able to proc burning again. This is coming down to the absolute wire, but I think we can win. Now that was the necessary play. She's not getting healing back. And we six, then she'll take two, but it was not a we six. But that will do it. That'll do it. And our summons will determine the outcome of the match. Goodbye, Lynette, and hello, victory. Scar PFP on Scar PFP violence. I just... That Lynette did a lot more damage than I expected. At least, at least we got one win. That's the important thing. <sighs> Nilo, we Kokomi. Let me see. Ah. One less one using a technique. I think that's a good option, and that actually that could be an interesting combination. Given that you can do the mist bubble technique. There, Miss Bubble Slime. This is two Bubble Battle Tactics. Well, it doesn't really say that. Prepare and attach Miss Bubble Prison. That. That combined with being able to proc Electro Charges just at my leisure would be nice. But then in addition to that, I guess that could be nice. Tori could be useful, especially since she can get a bit tanky, but that's a source of sustain to match with their Kokomi. Hmm. Wow. So I already know that the opponent is starting first, so I can blame that when I inevitably lose. Okay. Maybe I should be more optimistic. Maybe. Ooh, good starting stuff. That. Strife for Lightning. Draw one card. Hmm. Draw with Bell. I should probably sit on that, maybe. On the field, one less elemental die when using a technique. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Some Struging Tides. I. It's not very good. It's also not very good. Bell is just a great way to maintain myself. Lightning Rod, Lightning Probe is a skill. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Go ahead, use a skill. I will blast you. Mm. Hi, cheese. We got Lightning Rod on you. We got Lightning Rod on you. Okay. Do your thing. Okay, and... Very, very good. Okay. What I like to see. This action duo can... Oh, you're doing this for quick mouths. That... It's very, very simple. But simple is often good. Hmm. I like a healing there might hurt me. It's gonna hurt me. Hmm. Uh, this is tough. Sophistication. I can't imagine that'll do all that much, but... Honest to goodness, I could very much blast them like this. Let's see with a lightning rod. Affected by Lightning Rod. And... Okay, Kokomi. Cool. Mm -mm. Question is what your next goal is. Thundering Shackles. Affected by Lightning Rod. Okay. Huh. That. 
we can just use your abilities like this. Spread a bunch of Electro and then have you spam Hydro. And that would be a good way to knock them down. Just pure, true hyper offense. It, it's very, very interesting because it's situational, but it's a strong card that never got any nerfs. Okay. Go ahead, freeze me next round. You're not you're not the target. You've taken damage, and I like that. Hmm. Okay. I'll use that and slash a surging tides, frozen mist bubble prison. It's not the issue here. Oh well pff, I may be stupid. Well, you know. That's a good way to hit you. I should have used this, though. That's the thing. Yep, go ahead, kill me. Probably prefer to have this next round, though. Yo, know, good, good idea, I guess, but unfortunately for you, things have taken a turn for the worse for you. Surging Tides... We use that cheaply, which is nice. Because it is a card, and that's no more Kokomi. Kokomi's gone. So how are you going to do this? <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> I'm sorry. Not really. I think they've just sort of consigned themselves to their fate. Can't say I blame them. Okay. And that's just no more for you. The only thing you've got left is that left is that one Charlotte. Okay. And if necessary, I could definitely solo with Dory. I mean, we got 17. It'll seem to be 14 versus 6 or so, and also the ability to do a reaction, so. This bubble prison is going to make this brutal. But it's just. Thunder Manifestation may not be particularly good in making use of its own electroid reactions, but no one said it had to be the one to do it itself. Little slime, and it's the same amount of damage. This bubble, bubble battle tactics, and... Okay. I mean, what can you really do? I guess you could try your burst. Go ahead. Heal yourself. It will not save you. Yeah, one HP healing. No, oh, I... Prepare for one turn. It would be fun to just use Miss Bubble Prison for the pure disrespect. Fine by me. That's... Bubble Prison, right, because... for one turn. Featherweight foam. One less elemental down using technique once per round and that. That's good stuff. Go ahead. What can you do? Not much. Yeah. Heal yourself and you can't do anything. It's over for you. <laughs> what does that mean? Yes. That's a few years purgatory. And all we gotta do is smack you. Smack you again. Otherwise you get healed up and that could make a difference. We'll make sure it doesn't make a difference. And there is our victory. Okay. What I like to see. God bless that Hillitrol. Seriously. So, so we can get from shop another Atea. Buy new cards, then buy new sins, skins, sins. I didn't say that. Meet a frozen sun petrification, not be switched out. Meet a crowd control. Mm -hmm. Stun. But that would include the bubble too, but of course, 
next goal is grab their special skins. You also got some little bits of equipment here. But we've gotten, until they put new ones in this patch, we had every equipment and support, and of course, character card. Those skins were just trying to get more of the event cards. Little golden skins. But I think. Let me just see where my. Shouldn't make much of a difference, but to see where. How much proficiency the deck I'm currently running has. Silly deck has seven. Okay. So in that case, if I ran it against. The matches to get new characters it would go to max. That's decent. Okay. So a couple of these characters, specifically Zhang Yun and Hydro Cultural Rogue, have techniques in their kit, which are basically special moves, additional moves you can put on a character. It's more games. One inter one's interest peaked, we'll just go for a few rounds, shall we? Sus. Okay. It's her and her two daughters. Okay, that's actually real cute. Mm -hmm. I like that. Hmm. We can take... Well, that's the thing, is that this deck is deliberately, agonizingly slow. To beat this within five rounds is... Might be a bit tough with what I've got going. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. It depends. I always start with... Shrose is actually kind of expendable, so... Let's start with her. Sorry. And... Actually... This is decent, because we want to get some kind of bunched up, so to speak. So we could put multiple of these down. Honestly, we'll put... Oh, hmm. Might be a problem. Yeah, put Tenacity on both of you. Maybe we can get rid of that, honestly. I honestly don't see myself making much use of Chevros here, but that's a first round gone. And six, actually, that's doable. Hmm. Just go ahead, do your stuff. I know at first is a bad idea, AI, because that means you can't apply something to me and stroll it around, but good for me. Good for me, though. Okay. Do something. Because every stack of shielding means more durability and more damage on burst for the crab man. Okay. Maybe we can focus on trying to apply electro. Set up some additional reaction damage. That'll be okay. Oh, that was nasty. Real nasty. Hmm. All right then. Yep, and that puts it all on you. Nice. Battle one detonation is a good option, but <sighs> sort of ring of bursting grenades or something else. Honestly, I think what I'll do is just smack two times with basic attacks and hope and pray that I can just use the burst next round. In order to... Oh, we do have that. Hmm. Honestly... Switch one of those out and get an Electro hit. I'll keep the Pearl up too, hopefully, which is nice. And then start our next round with a Burst. Spread some Electro around to use. Oh, with the Crab. Proxima Overlords, hopefully. Okay. Hmm. Well, that may not have been ideal. Maybe. Oh, nice, no, you on you. Thanks. Well, you is in the literal computer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, also... This little bit of pyro app. Her application of Emperor Fire with this card equipped. Gains two stacks once per round, so that's 
A nice bonus. Yep. Okay. So there we are. Some switching around and try to get some stuff started then. Okay. Go ahead. Do something to me. Switch out. Thank you. Get some of that going. Use a couple of these. Hmm. Two Zonyun. And it's one of these first. Bit of damage bonus, get a couple of stacks. Okay. That's the end of your round. But I would say should go for one more snack. Okay. That means battle line detonation, which is also very, very nice. Good damage, also over. Charge ball. Not that I really use those with this team anyway. Hmm. Go ahead, hit me. I really don't mind. Okay. Hmm. So in that case... What are you going to do? Oh, just the burst. Okay. Cool. And, ooh, big damage. Okay. Well then. That will kill someone. Switch to Ganyu. <laughs> okay. And there we have it. That means no more Shanghai. Thank you. Yep. And, okay, cool. Yet another overload. Maybe we could put that on Shabros, actually, and just max out those stacks. And more damage. Thank you. Cool. Now this works. This does work. Quite well, too. Alright. For a smack, get that burst up faster, and crab's so dumb. <laughs> I don't dislike that, but it's undeniably pretty stupid. In a number of ways, it's actually kind of like how Gunny used to be. In terms of spread damage, sort of a spread damage focused character. Okay. And this is going to kill Ganyu no matter what. Oh, well, you know. Nice idea. Thank you. And now, get me to 11. Okay. This actually won't kill, I think. <laughs> 13. What you gonna do? Oh, burst. Okay. Oh no, it's... She's just giving up on life. Okay, right through the shield. Your food could not save you. Okay. There we go, we got all our objectives, and that's... Jean Yun in there. Huh, you were indeed skilled in this game. Excellent. It was a good match. Okay. Now we move on to Fremine, and then we can do the challenge against the Hydro Hiltral Rogue. You want a game of cards with me? I hope the experience of playing together brings you satisfaction. Hint from is a deck centers around inserting cards into the deck. A large amount of draw card effects to help them quickly obtain powerful cards. And funds this game card fascinating indeed. Perhaps if your rounds are in order, hint Zonin's deck centers around her elemental burst. This allows her to heal and enhance character's normal attacks. She didn't even use it. Okay. That's gonna be Lydia and Lynette with him. No, you want to play cards with me? Sure, if that's what you want. Bokutokata game A card game with me. Anata no mere naira. Well, alright. A rightful reward, but also like using Shavros' burst effectively. It's interesting to think about, but since she's off field, she should take the small one. Hmm. Stick with you. And yep, it was the three Fontaine siblings. That's cute. So, 
So that's some of these and hope that we can put some weapons and some cards and some people. Hmm. Much to think about. It's on you. This on you as well. Okay. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea to, way to do it. Actually, it doesn't make a difference, does it? No. Yeah, not really. Okay, and... Put that on the crab, and we can just... Go for a single smack. Okay. Cool. And... Pearl solidification, and also... Not consume to us around, this is not a summon focus deck. It's interesting when they have very specific interactions and counters. It's not as if it always works. Oh, right, more cards that summon more cards in so you can make use of Tarmaru's abilities. That's right. Okay. That's the end of that round. So you do to me next. Mm, Kujirai isn't that great when other side is actual dice. As opposed to an adventure challenge where they won't don't. Huh. Talk about bad luck. Okay. Hmm. Should ensure this isn't hurt me too much. Maybe. Alright. Huh. I suppose I could try putting down the burst. It's an idea. Hmm. Oh, now they're gonna try to steal my cards. Okay. Use that, use this. Slap this down. Okay. Hmm. And, well, I guess we'll just sack you. Oh, but I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss that, aren't I? Yeah. Hmm. What's next? Yep. That does not trigger that, which is actually very good for me. Okay. Otherwise, I'd be a little worried. Got to try to crab you to death now. I genuinely do like that one of the strongest cards in the TCG is just a crab. Put that on you. Thank you. And the question is what is left? Mm -mm. Overload one of them. Yep, there we go. What are you doing now? Shalini, you're gonna switch back to someone else, or what you're gonna do? It's good to just have more cards to discard, too. Well, it. No more Fremen A for you. Here's timer, pressurized flow, cancel, one less elemental die. Pressure level. It is interesting how he works, I suppose. But we can also just punch you and then use battle and detonation. Yeah. Very, very nice, as always. Go ahead. Oh, but right. Well, he doesn't have any... He doesn't have the talent that gives him a bonus for hitting characters with Pyro on them right now anyway, so... It's in the TCG, that's a talent he has to equip. So, there we are. Oh, well, you know, go ahead, sack your Lynette. Goodbye. <laughs> I, I know that the AI is not supposed to be good at the game. To make blunders of that level is interesting, especially since you can't do anything without die. It's literally wasted. It's not like me forgetting that, oh, you know, right. If you have to... A technique does take up a turn to use. Because, again, I forgot that. This is just... Wasting resources almost deliberately. Okay. Well, can make this happen. Probably just blast you and punch you. 
But I really do like cards where it's sort of a protect of the leader kind of thing, where you hit the enemy. You sort of keep an enemy, one of your cards off field, and then just go for a big hit. And you know, this is an NPC, we don't have to feel bad. Let's go for the complete and utter disrespect. Goodbye. Boku no performance no shippai wa nai. Exit. Okay. So. Ah, I still couldn't win. Mori datta. It was useless. In that case, we go back and collect. Do the Hydro Hilatrol Rogue Challenge. Yeah. Hello there. Hello. It's the card challenge, roamings of a hydrohilatrol hydro rogue. And that. Meow among the hilatrols, there are those whose way of being even the proudest of cats might view with admiration, tall and aloof as they wander about the wilderness. Their solitary silhouettes cut somewhat lonely figures. So the hydrohilatrol rogue starts with two energy. Oh, so they're gonna use their technique. Hmm. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad. Probably gonna be two of them, I would presume. Probably. Hmm. Some things that are good to have. If there were two of you. Okay. Presume you're just going to spam your verse. So. Hmm. Okay. One uses Whirling Scythe. Put that down. That's one application on you. Use that to sort of screw with you next round, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Cool. And I suppose we'll put this down and... One smack. Cool. Okay. This... Cannot imagine this will be incredibly difficult. Especially since they're not using the bubbles, but my question is... How would they sort of notate the bubbles? I mean, the use of the techniques. Assume it should show up normally. Like any other... Action would, because it is an action. But that was decent. Real good luck. Okay. Use bubble battle tactics. Miss bubble slime. Okay, so yep, that does get notated. Okay. Mm -hmm. Suppose if I felt like it, I could start just smacking them. Oh, right, because if we overload, we can prevent them from doing what they want to do. Nice. Okay. Rolling side. Could put that down, but also no. Hmm. Hit you here. Thank you. And a switch back, or what? That's a technique, unfortunately, will stop you. No technique for you. Okay. Oh, okay. Right, just switch back if things like that happen. Hmm. I... It's one hydro damage. That's fine. You can tolerate that. Okay, then. Bubble lockdown, fine by me. Can boost up slightly. Remove that hydro from ourselves by using that talent card. Okay. It's like this. Yeah, okay. Clear that off. And I guess we could put some of this down, maybe. Maybe. 
much to think about. Sure. That battle and detonation, maybe, but switching tides. No, I can't afford that. Do this and then go for a hit on you, ideally. Prepare for one turn. Okay. Go ahead. Prepare. Hmm. Should do it like this, but we could put. It's down on you. Sure. Okay. Go ahead, bubble me. Okay. That's all I needed to see. Oh, they just use it twice. It's actually just funny. Okay. Keep it nice and slow. So in that case, we will go for another hit. This gotta use our burst. This would make it even better. Okay. And there we are. Okay. This is a kill no matter what. Goodbye. There we go. So we've gotten all the cards we could possibly need. And also gotten max proficiency on all of these cards, which is nice. That's that one. This one. This one. Now we gotta make a new deck. To keep proficiency going. It's actually decent enough for something that was deliberately scuffed. I think Fremenay and, and Jean Yu could actually work well together. No kidding. Hmm. Like Fremenay could be good with weapons, but it's Fremenay in terms of ones that don't have at max proficiency yet. Fremenay. I don't think you can filter by proficiency. Yeah, you can't. Or Fremine. Nobody in Electro. No Fremine, but also Jean Yun. Fremine and Jean Yun. Like I said, I think they should work well together because of from his normal focus, Navia would not work well with him. Can't crystallize anything there. Navia, Frost Operative, Hydro Hill Patrol Rogue, and Fatui Mage. I think Navia, Fatui Mage, and Hydro Hill Patrol Rogue could work well in a silly kind of way. Though honestly, I would not say that Navi is especially good in TCG. Very least, she's very weirdly clunky. A lot of card draw effects to make that work. Let's see, call. Is on the field before you choose an action. That could work well with Navia. In terms of generating crystal shrapnel, maybe this is a skill. This, I'm not really going to be using techniques, I wouldn't say. Featherweight foam, Slimo Movo, where'd that come from? Here to play with me. Sus. The only ones would be Claymores. Normals, bacon, bell is always good. Huh. Hmm, not a lot of claymore options to begin with. This? Card draw has to be part of it. Let's say. Focus on drawing cards as much as possible. Discard or use one card for tune. 
Discard up to five Crystal Shrapnel. Draw one card. So you can keep that going semi-perpetually if you know what you're doing. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That could be nice to have. Could be. Leeway Harbor too. Those are interesting options. That could be useful. Maybe. Maybe. You know what? Why not? Why not? Stealing cards, but too much if you don't have an opponent who has cards to steal, which is occasionally the case. Good talents, you probably have strong characters all there in there. Chicago is always good. Some that just pretty much are must adds all the time. But in terms of card draw, uh, I. That could work. Given that Shu Infusion randomly placed them into your deck. Takes Crystal Shrap, relies reaction damage. Crystal Shrap and Cotton before adding it to your hand. Hmm. That's interesting. And tough. To five plus one damage, so. How about charging up big hits, but. Besides that, you never really know how to manage that. Yep, card draw, card draw. What else is going to be a good source of card draw? Hmm. I... Hmm. Globo Legend is actually kind of crap now. This is generally a good one, actually. And sure, why not? Okay. This... Is not an especially good team, but if it works, it works. Also, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna be able to do the TCG challenges. The time I've got left. Theater took a while, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's a bit of a surprise to me. Okay. Let's play. A wondrous deck and of course it's guest experiences. That means what does that mean? Hmm. All of these are actually quite good. Uh, who can take hits? You can take hits. Yeah, yeah. All I gotta do is trigger a good amount of reactions. Okay. Sure, my foes take reaction damage. That that is a fine way to start things. Now I can just start drawing cards. That is good enough for me. Okay. Got enough to put everything down. Play that. Play this. Play this. This one down and oh, support zone's full. I'm not getting rid of that. No way I'm getting rid of that. Well, I. Hmm. <sighs> That'll help me charge things up, I suppose. But okay. I could have used that to maybe. Oh, I couldn't have. I didn't have a high single hydro die. Okay. Go ahead, hit me. Mm. Okay. Took a while to get some of these in, though. Alright. Alright then. Kohosaurus. Decent enough. That's gonna have to go on Navia. That. Hmm. Probably want that gone. That said, the only thing I'm doing here is just trying to take reaction damage. So. Maybe I should just focus on taking hits and just sit there. That's actually a decent enough idea. Especially if I'm not in a great position to deal reaction damage on my own. Sure. Sure. Okay. And then... 
Put that did not do much. Put that on her. Okay. We have not been perfect. Okay. Well, someone is actually going to die now. That's okay. Well, actually, that's three reaction damage. Okay. You will just accept that death for what it is. Thank you. And some blasting. The geo infusion will help too. I'd like to think. Proc some crystallizes or something. And one of those. Nice. So just like that. So shot once. Two crystal shrapnel cards, that'll do it. Okay. Yahoo! Yeah Just having that base damage is nice. Okay. Thank you. Gonna switch or what? Well. Hmm. Switching is tough. Well, actually what I could do is yeah, yeah. wait for the switch. Well, that's you like this. Well, actually, that'll also proc the parametric transformer. That means I'll have to change one around, but also geo damage. Oh, but that's not reaction damage. Is it? No, it is. Okay. Zero damage, it's still a reaction because. Crystallize does technically deal damage on reaction here. Okay, yada yada. Okay. So, we got a bit more to do. Kodisu, Timaeus. Hmm. Nervous about the duel that will soon begin. Okay. These are all decent enough. Put them down and then just go for a single crystal shot with Nadia. Oh, and even fire up. Even got the fire up there. Mm -mm. Chew infusion for how long? That's the question. It's a good combination. Two rounds. Nice. Discard or tune. That down. Put that down. Put this down. And shoot you. Okay. Nice. Kyotsuke Masai. And that's a bit more of that. Good stuff. Okay. Hmm. What are you going to do? Well, alright. Fair enough. Maybe I'll go for another one next round, if whoever's there. Okay. We're more or less even. Keeping Willow, Paimon. I mean, not Paimon. So. Should I hope we get more Geo Dice? We can use it once. Okay. That is good damage. Thank you. Okay. And we got some of that. We shuffle that around. She is actually good for card draw then. Niwabi mm. Insho. We will play the burst. Some damage and a crystal shrapnel put in your hand, which means could blast someone real hard if I felt like it. But should probably try to make Reaction happened first. Hmm. You're in there. And. To you. Okay. So I can switch out and use. We will draw a few more cards. That. That's a funny option. Hmm. Storm Terror's Lair actually. Helps out with that a little. 
Don't really need that though, so we will use this. That on you, and that should actually kill Ayaka. Okay. Hmm. Question then is for your character to use this skill. That's your cool. I guess we can use this. Not particularly feel like switching. Maybe. Maybe. Get in there especially since I got Pyro on her. What are you gonna do? Mm, that could be death if I'm not smart. Okay. And thank you. Not a good amount of that. Do a nice crystal shrapnel hit. We felt like it. Hmm. Said I really don't want to waste a big shot on you, Emir. Hmm. I. In a switch or. Yep. Okay. Good stuff. No crystal eyes, but we do good damage. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. Should help a good deal. Mm -mm. Thanks, well, that's death. Okay. And... That will electrocharge a bit of damage on you, and I guess we can use a single tap to proc an overload to kill. I hope. Mm -mm. And that's all we needed. Thank you, Navia. Not bad. You done stumble at all? I should probably buy Hydrocultural Rogues skin now since I'm going to be using the thing. Okay. Thank you. And that is another bit of Sanctifying Unction. 50 Original Resin. Oh, that's right. I do need to actually run some domains. Forgot about that one. Hmm. Hello, how are you doing? Good to see you. I'm just doing a bit of TCG. What are you up to? Commodities will buy the rogue skin. Good option. Oh, nice. That's good to hear. That's always important. Don't run yourself too ragged. Just got a couple more TCG matches to do. Oh, wow. That... I, I, I would not recommend that. Okay. Charge Demise. Oh, what, ki what kind? Hmm. In a... painful way, or...? I did not know that variety wings were a thing that existed. I'm intrigued. Yeah. Yeah, I... Whenever you do something, I always worry about whether it's being done in a painful way. Because usually it is. It... I worry about you. Okay. So, that's death to that guy. Okay. Cool. That will make one of them hide. Okay, I drew a few more. Well, as long as, it, as long as you had fun, I suppose. But again, it forces me to worry about you. These crystal shrapnel cards are really not good for anything other than shooting anyway. Well, sure, but it's it's more of a health thing. You know how it is. It's, it's not about whether it makes your parents angry or not. It's about just... Your own personal physical health. I guess we could play this... For another shot, though, to be fair. Or for a normal one. 
Should use that to get one off for free if I need to, but I don't really need to right now. Oh, well, that also... Ah, that's just more crystal has. Okay. Huh. Yeah, a big blast of Navi is going to be a real option there, I suppose. That should do good damage to that hill in the next rounds. Yeah. Okay. We're doing just TCG stuff. Nothing too complicated. But did you have fun at least? I presume you always have fun. Hmm. It's just who do I shoot, how, and when? Should be. Yep, that'll just straight up kill. Yahoo! There we are. There we are. Hmm. Question is, do I want to try the burst or? So I'm not sure. Draw more cards than I needed to, honestly, because they're disappearing now. Hmm. Okay. Well. The piercing damage is good, then, because of... How many characters there are on field, then? Okay. Mm -hmm. But I suppose we could just tune a bunch of cards. Go for a couple of hits. Maybe. This is... One heck of a decision to make. Hit over there. Cool. Gives me a bit more shrapnel, although, of course... Card draw is messed up because I've got too many in my hand. You know, it would be fun if they just didn't have a hand limit. I could just get everything I wanted, but it does make sure that card draw abilities don't, don't get too out of hand because they are just really, really good. It This is the first time I'm really using Navi in any meaningful way. And she's a lot better than I expected her to be in TCG 2, which I like. I don't dislike that. That forcibly switches you out. Now we can use our normal hits also crystallize, though to be fair, we got a weapon equipped to say plus one to all damage she does herself. We'd still be killing anyway, even without the reaction. What is interesting is that crystallize deals damage in TCG, which is part of what makes Geo actually rather good in TCG. The fact that one, shielding is a lot harder to come by, because the way that switching works makes Zhang Wei just not as good. So... Oh, they moved. I actually move in range, and they... That triggers their dialogue. Yeah. Let's start with Kirara, and then I suppose I'll run... Tagataksan Atta. Yai Miko. The card draw effect. Last one for today, and then I'll just run the weapon domain a few times, I think. That should be fine. Gotta get some stuff for Kinich. Huh. 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 Then maybe talent domain, maybe? Hmm. Much to think about. So who do I want to put on first here? Honestly, Bubble in conjunction with Navi would be really good. So. Focus on stuff that isn't useless for us. Hmm. Okay. Put this down. This, this down. And go for a slash. Nice. Some character has that attached. Gains one energy. You can use that as sort of presumably kind of perpetual motion machine. Well, the opposite of motion machine, because they're being stopped. Perpetual station machine. Yeah, the opposite of motion would be etymologically be station. Which is amusing to think about. But unless you've got hydro in there. Yeah, if you had crown the team and you Froze with that attack, presume we could instantly get a shot off. A burst off. Maybe. 
Hmm, I'm not sure to think about. Let's use one of those again. Hmm. Horse work could be okay. Maybe. Hmm. Gonna play that. And what else we got? Hmm. Not all the things I can use at the moment. But put this on. We don't have any summons we really want to use right now. The other thing is just spreading this around. Okay. Hmm. Go ahead, use something. Or not. Maybe. Hmm. It's hard. Attaching the technique won't do much. I shouldn't use one of those, this is annoying. Hmm. Probably get some switches around, maybe. Maybe. Well. All right. Oh, goodness. That, okay. It's not gonna proc that, presumably. Yeah, they, I feel like the AI is actually trying to prevent Parametric from bowing. Oh, it's not. It's not, though. Just didn't work out that way for us. Well, at least we can use... Use the shot next round for good damage. Okay. Alright. Well, except for the fact that now it's... No, that was Dia. Dia's got it on her or not. Kokomi, though. Okay. Well, got a lot of stuff to put down. Hmm. Okay. So... Much to think about. Done another parametric would probably be a good idea. So would using the bell is this and another parametric, yeah. That's a nice clean shot. Cool. Seems a few of those. Thank you. Thank you. Bit more shrapnel. That should put that through. There's a couple of things. I let's use this as well as Tenshikaku. Actually, I can't. That's right. Hmm. <sighs> This pure is an interesting option, but in this level tactics as well. Hmm. So I'm not going to be drawing too many cards this coming round, but it's a matter of seeing who I can afford to let take a hit. Hmm. It's just, I guess I could put Spear away on her. But being off field hurts. Okay. Whatever. It's the end of your story, I suppose. It'd be really nice if you switched to Dia. Well, whatever. This is taking longer than I expected, but it's just also not a particularly good deck. Well, alright. Figure this out. I should probably use the burst. Definitely use the burst. Who's going to be on field, though, is the thing. Hmm. All right. All right. That will not kill me. That's the big thing. Or... Yeah, I can switch out. Nice and quick. Put this on her. And you got the bubble. Switch out. We'll get this going. Yep, you switch to Kirara. And we can one put this down. I did not actually mean to do that. Well, whatever. Put this down. Ooh, good damage. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
That means... Probably just doing one more quick shot. If you switch again, well, kill you quick. Okay, well. Mm -mm. Go over there, thank you. I'm gonna do this. Mm -mm. That's cheaper. Oh. Oh, well, actually, not bad. We will attach our Mist Bubble Risen, because you can't do much, and that gets Hydra on everyone. Okay. So in that case, we will Mist Bubble lock down you. Hmm. Much to think about. You can take a hit. You can take a hit. Sony is not going to get drawn this turn. Something's getting discarded. Okay. Well. But also, someone is getting a big shot to the face from Navia, too. Somebody. Go ahead, switch yourself out. Maybe. But getting Navia in is... going to suck, too. What I could and probably should do is sack the rogue. Let's see, play this too. Oh, okay. It's two. Switch. Sacks. Okay. Acceptable loss. And there we go. I. Just gonna have to hit you. That's okay. Actually, what we should do is prep this to make sure that whoever comes in is going to get stuck. Yep. Oops. How sad for you. That's the end of your round. And we can just destroy Kokomi. That's sad. Really, really though. It's nine fat damage. And... Okay. Bit more in the deck and lots of cards there. Thank you. Ah, one right in. Hmm. That is a good option, but... I go for one more hit. Would have killed either without trap, no, and there we go. Cool. But Navi is actually real fun to play in TCG too. Could not expect things to be that way. We'll take it, and of course we get drawn into trap to pick better cards. But it seems to send you basically one game back in terms of teleporting you, which is strange. All right, Femine. Of course, we do have four drums. Temper. Be interesting. Okay. Ooh. So I suppose in that case, I will run. him in a few times, but first I should suffer Milani real quick. Give her talent books. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Just like that. Okay. Hmm. Get a little bit more because of the rewards we got from doing theater. Nice enough. And we only needed one more to get her to 777, but it's a good start. Run the town him in a few times to get enough for King H's Earthshaker now. Also, actually, for 2 buck 1 2. For the Ashgraven Drinking Horn. And 
it getting to the point where it becomes a matter of generally diminishing returns, but still. So, the ancient watchtower. Hmm. And it's arrows. Some arrows, some of the mirrors. Might be able to level both of them if we know what we're doing. Maybe. Okay, this is the team we'll be using. Hmm. Only a couple more runs of this should be necessary for Kinesh's stuff. So in that case, actually, probably go for the mirrors. When I have none of, so. All right, got our night soul going. Soul burst is triggered, three foot more damage for 10 seconds. It's a decent enough option, and there we have it. Fits Rose Automaton, and one, two, three, right, one, two, three, right, one, two, three, right, and it's that easy. At least it's fast. Okay. Just gonna run this one five times. The Tupac one. Ooh, nice. In ancient times, shamans, priests, or those known as mystics, Nightwing's mystic consideration were always on the hunt for methods by which they could communicate with the sun and underground realm. Ever since the wild, the great spirit gradually began to manifest, reacting the resonance between the lone hero and the night souls. So presumably, the night soul warriors are the special night soul totem bosses. Maybe that's us? This had been so. In transmit and disembodiment and theurgy were the main methods they chose, each accomplished with the aid of meticulously polished ritual tools. That one's mystic premonition. Which it's like it's believes that the why of its foremost entities of consciousness were being stripped of externality and thus the closest things to the essence of the spirit. The process of polishing rough stones until all texture had been removed, turning them into mirrors of pure light, was also seen as a ritual for removing the surface representations of worldly phenomena. Perhaps the reflection that a psychic saw upon the smooth surface of the mirror projections of their own spirits. That one's mystic augury, when intangible spirits attach themselves to objects. Yeah, because this is a stone mirror. An actual obsidian mirror, presumably. As dark as obsidian might be. If intangible spirits attach themselves to objects, they merge and transform into various forms for the process of spiritual fusion. Once this is taking place, these spirits are capable of conveying dreamlike visions to humans in a state of trance. Fell upon those who frequently engage in such dialogues, so the spirits who interpret these vision like dreams, translating omens from beneath the earth to language that could be understood by the tribe, or transforming their warnings into stories. It is said that this is the origin of tribal storytellers, and also why most outstanding storytellers hail from the Nightwind. Nightwind's mystic revelation got a bit of a dragon appearance that regardless of how their polished representations of worldly matter cannot be made to transcend their physical nature, they will always remain material in essence. Similarly, pure human spirit can either be expressed solely through the tree of intention or embodied through obsidian mirrors that need constant polishing. So the power of the night kingdom and the night souls grew, and the night souls. So too did the types of objects that can be used for spiritual fusion. Tree. Eventually, the Wild came to be capable of conveying revelations in the Night Kingdom through various thoughts alone, dispensing of the need for devotees to perform the ritual of polishing stones into mirrors, thus were such ritual tools rendered obsolete. Hmm. Alright then. So, do it like this. Thank you, and one, two, three. Right, one, two, three. Just stay inside. Wow. That was even stronger than I expected. Okay. I wonder how much I need. Hmm. Maybe four might honestly be more prudent. I don't know. Thank you, and one, two, three. Right, one, two. Right, one, two. Right, and there we are. No matter what, it's always going to be three Milani Bites that do it. Crit Walker, no. So I don't think that... Some of those might not have been critting, but I think it's also probably just... Effective Wid Save. Hmm. Two more should do it. 
Should be all I need for two lock. Okay. Thank you. And one, two, three. Bye. One, two. Bye. Oh, goodness. Stay out of the way of that fire. And there we are. It. It's nice. That <laughs> said, the truest quick way to do it might actually be. Putting Kachina's deal down just so we can get Night Soul Burst absorption as quickly as possible. One, two, three. That said, I think that one, two, three. Maybe these are out of the way. Yeah, because the additional damage it takes. Kachina's just there to start that process. Okay. So, in that case. We will level that drinking horn. Okay. Which, actually, oh, it might need secret source, though. Let me see. What is that thing going to take to level? Ask Raven drinking horn. Yep, it needs secret source stuff, so. Hmm. Might not have enough. Well, sorry to you, that's good too. It's glowing. Hmm. Let's see. I'll always get more next time. Big thing is as long as we've got the boost to enhancement, I shall level it as soon and as quickly as possible. Hmm. How many we have? One, we need three. Come on. I mean, we need three more, so we have four in total. We need nine of these in total. This was about as many as we needed. So. This so we got right there. Well, more or less. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I definitely can't get it all the way, but well, there's far more secrets for automatons in the meantime. It's not exactly a huge limiting factor. So. Boost that up. And yeah, we need more of those. Part of the secret source ones. So. Yeah. Okay. Well. Could be better, could be worse. We will. We'll just get more of those. Getting the... Well, also, this means killing more Saurians. Does Kini choose that, too? Hmm. Earth Shaker is right here. We need more the arrows. Okay. Some more of these, too. So we could just run it a bit more to a few more times to get more arrow hands. Yeah, that'll work. Good stuff. Yeah, you know, and of course, of course, Milani's going to be good for the domains connected to her patches, but it's still quite nice. Hmm. Six and then four. Keep track, maybe. Alright. Thank you. This down. Here again, and one, two, three, and right out of the way of that. Two, three, yep, we were able to prevent. Be able to get it to go into that mode very, very quickly. Good stuff. Oh, but I forgot to condense my resin. That's right. Well, okay. Couldn't condense it evenly that way then. Right, and one, two, three, did that enough? Less than ideal order, and oh, good crit. That crit almost killed on its own. If I got her, no, 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 maybe that would have just killed. Maybe. So. Let's 
enough of the silvers. Yeah, I gotta condense real quick, and then more runs should be gold, and then we can run Earth Shaker up to max, which would be nice. Okay, there we are, there we are. I will simply collect the rewards for that. Use that resin, use that resin, and cooking and forging. Hmm. I even want to do that, though. Yeah, because you get a really, really rush battle pass level. Well, the big thing is that they have fewer weekly points now, but more total, because they have the theater one and the artifact leveling one. But, I don't know. Let's run that a couple more times. It's so close that I really don't need to look at every single mission. Yeah. I really don't need to get every single mission. It's like two weeks in, I'm already more than probably seventy percent done. More or less. So like that. Then you and one, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Yeah. Be able to make sure it's in a vulnerable beam state when I'm doing my damage is indispensable. Okay. Three. That's four then in addition. Hmm. Yeah. Should have just enough by the time I finish this out. Said I. Wookie does not really say. I wonder if the more. It seems to be getting more ticks of its meter. The more characters are currently in that, so it's blessing. Which makes sense. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And. Hmm. One more time. Finally, Kachina has some use. And get this started. One, two, three. Bite. One, two, three. Set it away. Get another bite. And it's that easy. It's that easy. And yep. I think that means. Double Earthshaker. Guess I'll read its lore. And. We'll be chilling. It is really funny that, generally speaking, when they introduce new enemies past the first two patches, enemies in the first two patches at the, in a patch cycle, you know, their drops are all elite drops. So it's just when they try to put up new weapons that have from events that use those mats, but it's just they don't really need those materials. That might be part of why they're making it so they only take some one fate point for weapons now. So the system does not really work if you... Okay. Six. None of the nine. I think we can manage this. Well, if we don't get any bonus, that kind of hurts things. Hmm. Well. So we get a, an extra. Oops. Okay. Well, hopefully we can. I think we're. I think we have just barely enough. Now that very, very perfect. So in that case, yeah, we'll have our funny Kinich Claymore. Here we are. We gotta make another. More of these eyes and whistles. Twelve eyes, two whistles. Twelve ignited seeing eyes. We have... No, no, in that case. Thirty-six, right. Wait. Okay, twelve, twelve, yeah. Do not want a refund. Go away, Dory. Two whistles. The only reason I really needed a bunch of 
the hilts and the golems because I got early keeper's weapon. Okay, so this should be it. Eat this tonight, eat and give it to him as soon as he shows up. Good stuff. Better than Serpent Spun, he doesn't really use Serpent Spun all that well, so. A heavy boy that people claim was beloved by the hero known as the Fire Thief. It's said that even the Lord of Cinderkeep's flames could not burn it away. There was Shaker long, long ago in what now is seen as an age of myth. When great dragon still soared over the canopy, there was a hero who, though he later can't be revered as the Fire Thief, was still at that time still in his youth and as reckless as a halberd quest bird. Born strong, brave, and boastful, he would roam the woods challenging passersby to duels. That he was easily defeated by a half-human hero, the father of a great warrior. With cunning footwork lured him into a mire. Seeing the young man in such a sorry state, the archer could not help but laugh. Of habits so stern and taciturn, he would not have thought that she would tease others so. Half of shame, half of annoyance. The young man made up his mind he would follow these oddballs, but only to cover the shame of defeat. I believe that would be upon yep, the Apanqui. Yep. With of the turnfire. Hey, you weren't seriously thinking of taking on that or whatever it is without me or you listen up you want, I'm Yuponqui. And it is I that is destined to shake the very foundations of the earth, presumably, that I haven't finished. Many years later, whenever he thought back on that journey, he couldn't help laughing at how awkwardly childish he used to be. More than once did his failure to heed advice land him in great danger, more than once did his boisterous earn him the quiet artisan's annoyance. Though it is true that countless enemies fell to the swings of his great sword on balance, his contributions were still, were still outweighed by the trouble he caused. Despite this, the companions who journeyed by the warrior's side tolerated his youthful ignorance. His vision was taken by the fire of delirium. It seemed to him that he heard the solid priest's words once more. One day he will understand why you embarked on this verdant path. By past fuel and present flame, life marches ever on. We will answer to the fire for all our deeds. This is your path and yours alone. Hmm. <sighs> Forgiston. So Chinese is just fuel. So, we got that ready for him whenever he decides to show up. For now, I'll just be hopping out for today, and yeah, it's time to ride him.